Well, hello, hello, and here are. I'm your host, but nothing to show. Gaming and yelling. Welcome to another fascinating, amazing, super cool, sweet stream that everybody loves and touches themselves to. Like always, I hope everybody out there in Happy Magic Land is having a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this doesn't matter. I just hope everybody out there in, in the world is doing okay. Um, I don't know how I feel. Again, I slept all day. I don't know why. I actually slept through the night. Hi, Kwee Kwee. I guess my body just needed the crazy amount of rest. Ah, uh, you lost your virginity, Kwee Kwee. God damn it. I thought you were going to lose it to me. Hi, Addy. Oh, by the way, Addy, I needed to talk to you. Um, nothing crazy. Um, give me one second. Let me, let me finish my intro. Um, where was I? I don't know. I woke up early in the morning and I'm like, hey, should I stream? And they're like, nah, wait later. And I'm like, fine, I'll wait later. And then I passed the fuck out and I didn't woke up to just now. I was like, what the fuck? I mean, should I wake up a few times during the, the, the morning time to go to the bathroom? Oh yeah, I did wake up to say hi to grinding the axe. But, uh, um, just, I mean, that that's about it. And for the rest of the time, I was just fucking asleep. I don't know, my body, guess, just needs rest right now. I mean, I have done more workout now. I'm starting to work out more. Maybe my body just needed to, to rest. I didn't walk today because I think my body just, my body said no. You know, my body definitely said no. This morning, evening time, should I say, so I turn up the air conditioner because it was nice and cool outside. Woke up and my room was a little more warmer. So that caused me to... My, um, my throat was uh, hurting, so was my nose and, you know, like, sinuses or some shit, I don't know. If I don't wake up to the AC or a cold room, I wake up feeling like total shit. So I woke up feeling like total shit. What else? Let me see. Uh, wah, wah, wah. Oh yeah, I, I, I saw Dune. Addy, I finally finished watching it. Fucking amazing. The only complaint I had is I wanted to watch more. That was my only true complaint. I wanted fucking more. <laughs> I hope there's more. Um. So yeah, that's all I wanted to tell you, Addict. That uh, I saw Dune, and yes, I fucking loved the movie. It was amazing. What is this? Huh. I just got a donation from the killing joke, but he must have donated to my Twitch. If you're out there, <laughs> thank you. Unless he's doing the the monthly thing, like you could actually, you know, um, um, Streamlabs has a, a a monthly donation now that you could turn on. So if you want to donate three bucks, like Kwee Kwee does, uh, you could it could get uh, it'll set it up for you that you could just donate three bucks a month or ten bucks or something like that. Whatever you want to donate a month to whoever your favorite, um, you know, content creators are. Just like me. Yay! But thank you, Mr. Killing Joke. Um, I don't know why you send it to. I think he sent it to my other account. Let me, let me, let me check. Because, yeah, it didn't go here. Where is it? Uh... There we go.
Yeah, it threw up a, it throws a few of them. Yep, you send it to my Twitch. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Killing Joke. Yeah, I got it, but uh, you send it to the Gaming and Yelling, and then this one's Gaming and Yelling 3. I can look again. Uh... Let me click on this. Yeah, the, the last link shows Gaming and Yelling 3. Uh, Discord, Twitch, and Gaming and Yelling, which shows to my show. My Twitch, okay. Uh, and the threats. What's this? Okay, that one's the three. Uh, I see. I see the uh, the other one. Okay, I need to look for this. Um. Bear with me, you guys. Uh... Yeah, my, my stream lapse is still kind of messed up. Hey, Salvin. Hey, Evil Dead. Ed. Yeah, my, my uh, stream lapse is still pretty messed up. Like, uh... The bot, the the streamland bot, it's really fucking messed up. Like it's combining one with the other for some fucking reason, and I have to locate the fucking bot and see how to fix that. Cloud bot. Let's see. Uh, time. And then again, then again, uh, Mr. Joke, try again. This is the link in the description there. Thank you, Mr. Killing Joke. That's another 10 bucks. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I gotta check the, again, the, the bot is acting, it's been acting really weird since I got the new channel. It's uh, combining, it's combining other fucking the other account for some reason they're combining them both together in a, in a way but only to certain things i don't know dude it's really fucking confusing let me go check again the bot and the other side alert bot nope there we go cloud bot Let's see. Timers. Okay, there's one more account to check on. Yeah, this shit is really confusing. Mmm, Nightbot. Ah, uh, I. I tried to use Nightbot, and Nightbot did not like me. Okay, just got one more. See, there's one of one of my links that combines both shows together, and that's the one that fucks up my stuff. Hold on, uh, Cloudbot timers. 
Yeah, one of them combines both of them for some weird reason. Discord. And we have a brand new Streamlab God who we must love, worship, admire, and suck up to. Who is that? That is Kwee Kwee. So whenever you see our new Kwee Kwee Streamlab God, make sure to love, worship, admire, and suck up to the Kwee Kwee. Because the Kwee Kwee is our new Streamlab God. Thank you so much, everybody, for the donations. It means a lot. I'm trying to do this freaking thing in the background to see uh, how to... Where, where the issue is, but... I don't, I can't find it. I can't find that one link. I don't know where is it linked to. <clears throat> Hold on, I got other things to check. I can't find that shit. Let's see, give me a second, please. Give me a mastermind, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> I don't know. I couldn't find it. I can do a command to pull out the goddamn donors and shit like that. <clears throat> oh, I do have it here too. Okay. <clears throat> there you have it. If you want to see the donors, just uh, hit the uh, exclamation uh, mark and type donors or tips and it'll show you both of them. Twitch donors and YouTube donors. Okay, well, let's fucking start the show. What are we gonna do today? Uh, let me open up the void chat. Uh, let me... Where's Monkey? Where's Monkey? He's Monkey Monkey. I'm gonna punch him in the balls. Oh no. Where's my stone monkey? Oh, there he is. Oh no, why Kui Kui? Why are you feeling sick? No! Don't make him don't make the party give you a golden shower, you sick bastard. Oh you don't want uh exclamation by gaming. Trust me, you don't want that. Uh, uh That one would link you up to a website there, uh killing joke. <laughs>
God, why is it so hard to find these people? There he is. I'm not into lemon parties, but I hear they're delicious. Okay, l let me open up uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and we'll start the, the boring party. <clears throat> what are you laughing about uh, there, Stalvin? By the way, Void Chat is open. Ah... <sighs> Uh oh, I don't know what's tight, but I don't want to know. What's up, boss man? Not much. How are you? Uh, I'm alive. Cool. Just playing some video games. Oh, what you playing? Some Fallout 76. Just doing some daily stuff before I turn to COD eventually. Oh, I didn't know you were a COD player. I, I've enjoyed the stories more than I do the multiplayer, but mm. they've flip flopped on that now, so the multiplayers are more what they do i mean after a few of the storylines <laughs> they just seem repetitive and the same to me i mean it, it's literally a war story so i mean eventually they all kind of feel samey uh-huh but i'm excited for the pit and fallout 76 coming soon i've learned a bit more about what to expect from it so it's gonna be all right i never know what you're talking about can you explain what what you just said Fallout 76 is? Oh, that's a uh, Fallout MMO. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, quick, quick, I forgot to read your message. <clears throat> and uh, quick, quick, which is the stream left got. Oh, 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 oh. Said, has set up a monthly $10 tip. Thank you. Forge Daddy. Wait, wait I don't know if it's $10 tip. I'm sorry. Said, said uh, has set up a monthly tip, not a $10 tip. Owned oh, high gaming, I guess. You look dead, Quick Wee. <laughs> Preferably oh, mine. I miss your Forge streams. Ah, uh, yeah, well, soon enough, as soon as I get some stuff knocked out, like, it's been a rough go to get back in the shop after coming back from class. <laughs> oh, what class are you taking? Well, I took when I was gone for a while in October. I went oh, and yeah. uh, did my Forge class. Yeah, I got spoiled with all the good shit they have there, and I come home and I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, it's not Please. fair. Why can't I have overpriced bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just been seasonal funk right now. I've been, like, working on people's knives that I promised forever ago, and I'm just kind of plunking away as I can. But just getting motivation this season's been shitty. Just keep on plunking. I do. I get in there when I can and fucking hammer at it till I get tired of staring at something and I'm like, fuck this, I'm gonna go inside for right now. Come back mm. at it. Mm. It's better I stop working on it and then go inside to renew so that way I don't overly tamper with it. Yeah, and then and then uh, when you're doing something for so long you get like frustrated and then you start making mistakes and fucking shit up. And... Yeah, I have a nasty habit of trying to be a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. He must renew yeah. his forge juices. Yeah, I gotta get a new anvil, one that's more modern sized. When yeah, I got you, to it, right? You've been wanting to get one for like a couple of years now, but I mean, they're fucking expensive. Yeah. I found one that'll be all right. It's just the freight's gonna be a little pricey. It's like a thousand bucks for a hundred and sixty-five pounds, mm -hmm. which is pretty good price per pound, but. 
it'll have to be freighted from North Carolina to me. Mm. Why can't you just go pick it up yourself? I could, but I don't want to drive all the way back. <laughs> back I mean, how, many, how many hours is that? Uh, five-ish. Five to six. I mean, that's not like the most terrible... I mean, it's still pretty, pretty harsh uh, drive in one day, but... Yeah, I mean, realistically, I think it's about six and a half hours to get from my house to the warehouse. And then back, which... I mean, when I drove it the both times, coming and going, when I was leaving class and going to class, wasn't that bad. Mm. But gas is expensive. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it is. Toya. Hi, Miss Toya. Hi, Monkey. Okay. I guess monkey's gonna move in with me. Okay, monkey. Oh. Protect your booty, monkey. Protect it. It's gonna be well protected. I don't fuck marry people. Well, I do plenty of times, but they all fucking lie to me because they say they're single. What's See? their fucking lying? You can't be held accountable. That's all that matters. Mm. Plausible deniability. Yep. Oh, I should probably update my photo. Oh, you. And... It's awful. It. It's like three thirty-five here, around. The temp. No, the gas price. Oh yeah, yeah. It's ours is like three thirty, three twenty. Yep. Well, was it like a while back? I yes. wonder what changed. I do too. What changed with what? Gas. Price. Biden. Duh. No, but maybe if we did that pipeline, maybe we wouldn't have this problem. And then and who do you think stopped it? Some old white guy. Mm-hmm. Ah, that fuck may or may guy. not have shit his pants in front of a religious leader. And called him black? You ain't black. Why are you not trying well, to? Well, I mean, yeah. The Pope isn't black. Yeah, that's true. That would be wild, though. Black Pope. Yeah, the gas, <laughs> the gas over here is about two, two something. Oh, that's still good. And killing jokes, not wrong. She said here in the free state, it's about 235. Oh, fun fun little story I read about uh, this morning. A city or county and no, it was a city thing in Sacramento, somewhere in there, somewhere near there. Uh, for not I think it's publicity, but for political reasons, have declared themselves a constitutional republic. Mm. They said it will not protect them from state or federal laws, but they want to make a point, and I'm like. It would be make more of a point if you were like, fuck this, we're out. I mean, once my uh, Canadian expert joins, maybe he can tell us a little more. Tershbot? Oh, the Tershbot are back again? Nope. Then why are you saying tourist spot? You said you had Canadian expert. That would be Samash. Yeah. Samash Pash. Smash pants. Where the fuck is he? Why is he late? Th this is why I don't fucking pay him. Because he's masturbating right now. Yeah, of course he is. I mean, did you expect anything else? Yes, to show up first, at least say hello. <laughs> Fair point. I need to catch up on the Rittenhouse trial. 
I've heard funny stuff has been happening. Oh yeah? <laughs> like the guy who got his arm shot half off uh -huh. admitted that he was chasing him and had a gun. Wow. Is it, yeah, I was chasing him. So so you were. No, I wasn't. I was like, what the fuck? What's more perfect than perfect? My dueling. It's my turn. I draw. Alright. That ends my turn. So what's new on everybody's plate? With me, not a goddamn thing. Except like, I don't know why I slept the entire day and the entire fucking night. Man, I'd be down to sleep the entire fucking day in. Well, I woke up I just woke feeling like shit. I mean, same. But I started a new shift, that's why I feel like shit. Mmm. Yeah. I woke up an hour early because of the stupid daylight saving time. <laughs> you were on time for things? No way. <laughs> he's black, he's never on time. I am. Never on time. I know quickly. Oh, it's on time. It's just like, why the fuck am I awake? And I can't go back to sleep because that's not how I work. It was awful. I blame Gaby. Eh. Such is life. Gaming's used to being blamed for this. Mm hmm. <laughs> Too bad for you. It's only six thirty. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> I mean Florida was trying to do that uh stopping daylight saving time bullshit. Well they, they started that they made it a law back in the fucking World War. Mm. Like I remember reading that shit and I was like, why? Fight communism and fascism will <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Goddamn pick a time and just fucking... That's it. No more. I mean, I think the entire state of Arizona doesn't even follow the daylight saving times either. I mean, at this point, there's no reason to anymore. Hmm. Actually, supposedly the main reason was so they can prevent you know like light posts and shit like that to turn on earlier because of the sun and blah 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 and the daylight yeah. <laughs> sun and nighttime and blah 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 well this isn't back in the dark ages when we didn't know the planet spun and wobbles fuck it goddamn elon needs to correct the wobble so it just mm. stays the same forever <laughs> right. no it it is a flat earth well yeah oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Get Someone needs to slip the damn thing. Hello, Mr. Forge. Hello, Mr. Joker. How are you doing? You want some sticks to eat? Uh, you know I love eating sticks. I will, I will give you sticks and, and, and maybe a circus peanut. Oh, perhaps it was gay. <laughs> hey. Easy now. And gaming and yelling my favorite gay man in the entire world the only gay man i get along with why how are you doing my friend i'm good because i'm probably the only one that puts up with your shit <laughs> uh, well that this is true mm -hmm. i um I'm, I'm actually having a good day today good i went and, i went and go saw my doctor mm-hmm mm-hmm did and they said, um, time? no, 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 it, uh, I'm certifiably insane. Um, oh, good, good. I mean, we yeah. need, we could have told you that, you know. I, well, duh, mm -hmm. but they're not going to listen to you. I don't know why. D d You're probably smarter is, than some of them. Well, not me. I'm, I'm a retard. Mm. But, hey, you know what? Living the life of a retard is good. So you what know, is it I like get, being a politician? It, it, no, no, I, I, I didn't hear that window liquor. 
<laughs> but no, 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 no. Seriously, I didn't hear that. What? I said, what? What is it like to be a politician? <laughs> yeah, but at least I ain't fucking uh, farting in front of the Duchess of Yorkshire or 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 meat puppet or whatever, and then sh sh shitting in front of the Pope. <laughs> What the this fuck, dude? And and then standing there like Cornholio in a live event. Dude, man, it, this is... Yeah, but there's your 81 million votes, people. Fantastic. I hope no one throws them against the fan, because then the shit will truly hit it. No, no, no. You get... You, you, you see, they cut his mic when he walks away from the podium, because you can hear the crinkle. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. I grossed myself out <laughs> just by saying crinkle. <laughs> you said it again. <laughs> I said it again. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> anyway, uh, gaming and yelling. What are you playing, my friend? Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links, the most exciting game in history. All right. Is this a two player game or a single player game? Um, you could play with other people online too, but but, um, uh, but you're actually playing with yourself right now. Uh like every day. Why do you go sexual in your end of like that? Because you made it easy for me. Mm. It's funny. Well, you just spit on it and it makes it easy for you. Thanks, but yeah, anyway, exactly. <laughs> hey, hey, I could come back with jokes too. Waka mm -hmm. waka. Mm. I'm very proud. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Evil Ed dead says so evil. Fuck, man. Hi, Doku. Stop putting all. Just put evil, evil Ed because that's what you used to be. Um, I will be here all night after work trying to finish shit up. I am too, Joker. I am too. I got papers to prove it. Oh, yeah. I've talked to you um, many a times and you're certifiably insane, my friend. I've seen your room. I mean, he just uh, needs to get that paperwork. But did you know that it, that Ed fucking moved into a new place? Uh huh. He's oh, currently. Yeah. Moved, oh, that, that is that exciting news. Mm -hmm. I am happy about that, man. That 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 boy needs needs something other than a fucking broken toilet and 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 bundling up in in like like hockey sweaters to stay warm at night but good for him and a steady job that's all you got man you, you, you could say you could be insane as all you want as long as you have a good time right forge Absolutely. oh <laughs> by the way forge I'm yes. saving up my I'm saving up money for the uh next the next uh one I'm going. Yeah. Ooh. Well, yep. take I'll, a look I mean, at you. I'll, I'll fly up to you and then we'll, we'll just road trip it. Yeah, 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 man. Half gas and like we'll get a bigger room. Two queen size fucking and we'll, and we'll actually probably go to a better hotel because <laughs> you know <clears throat> but we'll hang out with the plebs indeed more yes more. but you know we'll split split costs down a minute <coughs> 50, 50 and, and everything will be cool whip as long as we just pay our own way for the class absolutely yeah, I, I, I'm down for it. You know, I talked to the killing wife. She's down with it. And, um, yeah, I, I, everything is cool. Well, here's the class dates if you want to mark it down. Ooh. No, no, I, DM, D, DM them okay. to me. So at least this way I almost, almost have a hard cop. All right, I'll just take a screenshot of it then. Oh, okay, cool. And then, yeah. It, it, because like what we're talking about on 76 i was like yeah, yeah i'm down with it I, I i can dig that you know oh yeah it, it, we'll come out of there with some crazy shit. oh yeah you saw what i came back with 
Oh God, I still want my CX. I'm still like I told Gaming, I've been struggle busting, but I'm still plugging away at everybody's stuff. Oh uh, no, no, no! Forget my knuckles because you still ain't got the brass. And yeah, you can stick that brass. You, 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 you can still stick that brass up your ass. Uh huh. And absolutely. You got to make things right. Oh yeah. Keep the people interested. Um. Oh, he pulled out a tiki curse. I love that. You would have seen the tiki curse, if, but all you saw was dog poop in bags. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you gotta laugh. No, oh, absolutely, dude. I was so fucking still coming off of fentanyl and fucking morphine. I'm much better now. Absolutely. I remember when you were still going through all that. You were just ragged, man. Oh, God. I look like shit. God, I remember. Oh, God. I think everybody remembers. I was still on side quest. I, it would take me a day to fucking recover after that fucking job. And, and then I was hearing voices and shit. That's how bad it was. Uh, but anyway. It... it, it old news all right all right i gotta oh i gotta get my reading glasses on for that we'll look at that later stavin all right oh, yeah 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 but it, i'm down for it i'm down for the plan because like i would like to get out of florida once in a while you know no oh, yeah it's always good to see the world a little bit yeah yeah and then maybe go hang out at your house for a couple of days there you go build a fire and drink a couple of beers and uh, tell some stories. And of course, I'm bringing my PlayStation 5 with me. Absolutely. You oh, did, I did I tell you I got a PlayStation 5 now? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. I saw your uh, icon change. Yeah, yeah. I I'm going to put the PS Pro in the studio. But and then keep the PS5 for like in here because it's yeah. it's it's uh discless you know she yeah. oh the digital edition yeah 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 but like all the digital stuff I could get there you know and all the good games that I play with you guys like Red Dead and everything are still on the PS Pro and then I could use that in the studio you know, and when oh. I have visiting dignitaries <laughs> over at Stately Joke Manor, I'll use the uh, PS Pro and we'll set up another big screen in the living room, in the command center. You know, if you will. Oh yeah, sounds like a plan to me. Mhm. Mm so uh, how you been, gaming? Good. Um, I mean, normal, but uh, like. I fucked up this uh, last night when I went to sleep. I turned up the air conditioner. And when I woke oh, you up, it was up really. Window. I only have one tiny window in my room, so I, I had oh, the one. It was blowing right on you. Nope, it was. It got really warm, and that caused me to have a really bad sore throat and felt like. Oh my! Oh, it dried you out. Yep. Oh, it dried you out. Yep. Yeah. So I yep. fucking felt like shit. Oh man. I, I, every morning, like, cause I sleep with my mouth open mm. and then you get the scale tongue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know exactly. Just have a big glass of water, a big glass of water. I, try, I drink and, water 24 seven. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Don't drink what you were drinking the, the night before, Come? you know? Yeah, because that, 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 okay, it's, it's loaded with protein. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Protein. Mire esto. Mire esto. Uh, I'm going to speak to my friend in Spanish, if you don't mind. All right? Uh, sí. You might not. Bye-bye. Cállate, cállate que tu boca. Mire esto. Um, no o, you o, drink o, come o. In the morning, oh, <laughs> <Por qué? Hey. laughs> 
porque es, es, es no bueno. Es o muy sea, bueno. Like... Proteína ¿Eh? buena. Proteína yam yam. No, but, but, yam, yam, yam no, bueno. Bueno. No, no. Papao. Papao. Ah, oh, no. Sí. Ay, Dios mío. Ay, Dios mío. Papi chulo. Listen to me, baby. Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Concentrate. Yo, yo. Concentrate. Yo, yo, yo. I know I live fucking in Colombia. But I've been living with a, a woman that speaks English and doesn't and and doesn't speak Spanish, so you kind of lose it, <laughs> you know, because you know Spanish is not my second language. English is my spec second language. The first language that I speak is motherfucker. Mm. You know, everybody speaks motherfucker over uh -huh. here. Uh, but but Spanish is like my third, and. I used to speak pretty good. Yo entiendo mucho más, más palabra poco. Mm. Uh, it, it, you understand? Uh -huh. uh, um, I understand what you're saying, but I don't speak as much, you know, as you do. But what? But when when everybody like starts going off in different directions because you know you know the people who speak spanish you got 10 conversations going at the same time and they love interrupting people that's why i, I learned to interrupt people <laughs> you know i still got a little spick in me oh speaking a little spick in me how you doing gaming you want to meet up <laughs> hell no oh god that was <laughs> Oh God! That, you know that you was want a that setup and a finish. <laughs> hey, stop it! That was a setup and a finish. You know, I, all I, of I, if that was volleyball, I would, I, I would loft it up and would have spiked it myself. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the way he gave it back was basically just all over your chest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, made a map of Hawaii. He made a map of Hawaii. <laughs> He the the way bones. I work, it would probably be Alaska. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, you dribble. Uh -huh. yeah. Just like the yeah, state yeah. covering you got, white. You got, you, got, you, got, you got to check your blood pressure. Now. <laughs> anyway, I found when I had higher blood pressure, I used to hit the walls. I used to hit the walls with it. And, and, and then, like, after, like, all the, the heart things and everything... Now it's like, bleh. it's sad. <laughs> it's like, it's just like, it's an absolute ball. Yeah, it's a dribble. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck, man? I used to fucking be able to fucking ricochet that shit off, tear him a shot off of that fucking picture, off of that fucking wall, and then hit, hit something on the table that would knock it off. Now it just goes, bleh. <clears throat> <laughs> there you go. That's all you get. Oh, what? For all 20 minutes of work? What the hell is this? I'm sad I came back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome back. You can join in on getting your pearl necklace. Hey. Hey. I'm glad I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do, uh, shall we explain that to you? No, thank yeah. you. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure that gaming has given plenty of pearl necklaces. I'm not gonna comment on this one. <laughs> or he's, he's got. Gotten, pearl, he's, he's got plenty. Of, he's got plenty of pearl necklaces. Again, not commenting summer. on this one. Commenting. Uh huh. Commenting. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yep, just like that joke. Oh. 
Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's, the really sound, that's the sound before a pearl necklace. <laughs> <laughs> mascara running, <laughs> hair askew. <laughs> hey, I wear, I wear mascara. Do I? Wear? No, I wear eyeliner. Shut up. You wear Horst. eyeliner. <laughs> Shut up, Horst. Yes, <laughs> eyeliner. That's right. He God, gets it from hot topic. Shit. No, I don't. I get. I. I. I steal it from my wife. <laughs> That's why your eyelashes look so plump. <laughs> no, I've always had beautiful eyelashes. I, I've, no always, I've always been. I was. I. I've always been. A, I've always been a sexy boy, with my butt chin, and and my ass that that lasts for days. But right now, it looks like the moon. Like hammered flat with craters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> At least now you could be a science project for somebody. Where your grandkids like, I have a diorama of the moon. Huh? I, I <laughs> am a science motherfucker. I am a science project for somebody. I've got something that's not FDA improved in me. <laughs> And you know this. You have gaming mm. inside you? Ew. I'm FDA approved. No, 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 no. <laughs> no he, 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 well, he is FDA approved. You know, and and, and USDA approved as beefcake. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> he's got that beefy. Yeah, I, he, he, somebody likes a little salt on their beefcake. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying. He likes it sweaty. <clears throat> I'm provided sweaty, too. <laughs> oh God! Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> just <laughs> like, just <laughs> like that, just like that. Just right before you get a pearl necklace, mm -hmm. <laughs> it gets really between the teeth. <laughs> oh, oh God! Don't get it in your eye. No, no, but but for me and for me and gaming, it'll just be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to put it right on you and just make it pearl necklace. We're gonna have to draw it on you. <laughs> all right, kids, get your pastel paints. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, this this stream has been brought to you by <laughs> Manscape. That's right, Manscape, where you and Sasquatch, uh, what what is it, Squatch? Ball deodorant. If you want to smell like gaming and yelling's balls, go to Squatch, <laughs> and you too can smell like gaming and yelling's balls after a three-day stink and and a five jerk-off session. Just five, man. Well, ball hair is not included. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Unless you request it, then I'll specially deliver it. Stray pubes not included. <laughs> oh, God. oh God! Oh God! Hold on! Cause of choking. <laughs> I, oh my God! That was the worst in the middle of a blowjob. Wait, 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 before like pubic, like trimming your pubic hair was a thing. Oh my God! You got to remember how old I am. Before trimming your pubic hair was a thing. Like. Chicks would stop mid mid fucking coitus, and <laughs> fucking try to pull the, uh, like a stray hair out of their throat, <laughs> and it was like a cat coughing up a hairball. And it's like, shit, there's gotta be a better way. I know, manscaping. So, but like then I just went scorched earth on the motherfucker. Now I'm a hairy motherfucker. I got I got a leg hair, I got chest hair, I got a goodie trail. I'm not as hairy as my brother. <laughs> See, my brother has a has like a, a like a sweater vest of hair <laughs> all up his back and on his shoulders and on his chest, and and all you see is like black and two pink nipples, and that's <laughs> that's just gross. Me. <laughs> I went scorched earth on 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 my genitalia, and then it looked weird. 
So, so for, for the longest for the longest time, I I would fuck with 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 my boxer briefs and and popping it out my dick hole. But but I tell you what, I never got a scrape or a bruise again. And then I never got that hairball sound again. So, ladies and gentlemen, I can definitely tell you, go to manscaped.com and shave your balls and get the ball deodorant that gaming and yelling endorses because his balls smell like <clears> rancid <throat> rancid uh, apple vinegar or or like sour cream and vinegar. And a um, good day. On a good day. But he, he, he spruces them up with that ball deodorant. Don't you want to smell like his nasty <clears throat> balls and gooch? That's right, advertisers. You want to sponsor gaming and yelling right now. Hell yeah. It did it. Do you think it did it? Nope. It might have. That was a hell of a promo. Oh my god, evil that is. I, I have a I story. We, 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 we lose one and we gain one. Wait, where, is, where is why didn't Tony you don't give a fuck um say anything what's that man Tony oh uh oh she's probably got her kids she's probably busy something going on oh, in the background oh, oh there you go oh I, I thought she would say something she was in here <clears throat> hey, I'm over here for a few minutes I walked off the line early cause well fuck them and I hit right. <laughs> but, but, huh? Some assembly shit. I hit right. I walk off line. They don't say anything to me. They know better. <laughs> they, they fear the Ed. I, mean, I love Ed. I love Ed. Don't you go walking, Ed. We all love Ed. Yeah. In small doses. No, no. no. I, I like him in major doses. I mean, like, I want to overdose on Ed. Gross. I mean, oh, that oh, 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 white track record, still. man. It, it won't take long. <laughs> oh, no, 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 man. I think I think me and Ed have been um, buddies for, I mean, like, we talk in, in DMs and, like, um, Google Hangouts and shit. You know, I remind you, man. You can check your no, Twitter. No. I sent you the best copy of Let's Go, Brandon, ever. Oh, oh, I played it today. The whole um, Adam's Family version? Yep. Oh, no, no, oh, yeah. I didn't play the Adam's Family version. <laughs> I'll play it tonight. Uh, once once uh, Gaming and Yelling gives up the ghost, I'm going to stream. Why? Don't let me stop you. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, you know what? I love you. Mm-hmm. And I respect you. Yep, but I've said so it time I'm and time again, you know, there's no rules or laws, you know. Exactly, but I love you and I respect you. And that goes deeper than YouTube times and shit. Yeah. I know when you stream and you might go over, that's cool. I know when I'll stream, you know, like I did, I, I, I'm going to start doing my morning show again. Good. To get people going again. God, you know? I miss those shows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just play some music to get people going on their, on their way to work or whatever. But, I mean, you're the king of the nighttime world. <laughs> queen. <laughs> okay. okay, you're a queen. You're a queen. Fuck you, queen, queen. queen. <laughs> oh, shit. No, no, no. So I figure once you're off the air, I'm going to hit him like a one-two punch of gaming and yelling. Ugh. And then WJOKE, the most fantastic DJ around, playing the things that shouldn't be played. Because <laughs> Susan gets mad. Susan oh, gets Susan. Susan gave me a strike. Oh, no way. <laughs> what song? 
Um, it, uh, community guidelines. Maiden? Uh, no, 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 no. It was, um, what the hell was it? Oh, God. <laughs> Another gay Mexican. Anyway, um, it was, it was, um, God, I think it was, um, Golden Shower by, um, Ramstein, mm. huh. a live version, uh, or, or it was midget boxing. One of the two. Oh, I do remember uh, the midget boxing. That's when you cut out once. And Jimmy finally fucking showed up late as always. Fucking Jimmy. 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 Seven fucking minutes late. Jimmy. Damn it. Where the hell? Damn it, Jimmy. Where the hell is Pino? Oh, no. I'm not going to call his name. <laughs> you know he'll show up three times. I know he will. He will. He knows. It's like Beetlejuice. It's got like Pinoid. Pinoid. We just said every time. You fucks. Oh, now he's going to come with women. Everybody's going to fucking. Everybody. Oh, God. He's sucking down fucking antifreeze right now. Fuck hey, him. I'm at work. I got to be entertained. <laughs> what time are you working till, bub? Uh, shit, the show starts at 4 and goes at 12.20. Well, well, that does not mean anything to me. I do not know what, what time zone you are. <clears throat> we share the same time zone. Uh, Eastern. Oh, 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 you're out of East? All right. Um, yes, in Indiana, still part of our, our um, time zone. Yeah. Well, Samaj. Hi. Hi. Hoi hoi. Hi, Samaj. I, 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 I have some money for you. Ooh. I will, I will, I will gladly take that money. <laughs> um, no, no, no. We, we, um, do you Got mind if part? we talk in um, Twitter or um, Discord DMs? If you like. Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to add a friend to you right now. So we could discuss price, and I could tell you what I want. <laughs> hey, Joe, uh, don't, yes, don't, don't forget, because you're doing this deal in my server and on my show, I get a, a cut on the, the deal. You already <laughs> did. I already gave you $20. You ah, told. God damn it, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I already gave you $20, so you already fucking... Yeah. Could you stop picking up? God I damn love it, you, man. Stop picking on the elderly. Leave them alone. <laughs> no, stop picking on the handicap. I'm a retard. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Isn't it and, lost and, for us to pick on retards? I mean, I'm a well, retard no, too. No, 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 no. You're you're a different type of retard. Well, I'm actually borderline retard. So yeah. You're protected. You're protected yeah. class, though. You're protected class. We can go to jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am a protected class. I can't, I can't fucking strike people down who <laughs> call me a retard. <laughs> now, all I have to do is show my card. I am a retard. <laughs> I got a card. I have, I have, I, I do. I have a card that says I am a retard. <laughs> <laughs> Disability gave it to me, <laughs> and and it's like he does not understand things the way you do. He is a retard. This and, is the Joker yeah, movie that like exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what what I have. Yeah, but I didn't have to have him print it up. I have a government signed <laughs> one <clears throat> by Poopy Pants Biden. <laughs> 81 million votes the most popular president <laughs> well he does get his butt wiped at least oh, oh god oh, oh you're reaching back you're going way back oh god I love talking to you fuckers you, you motherfuckers make me smile and and there's not too many people that make me smile, and I don't know why, Mister Forge is so quiet. You should oh, hear him on Fallout seventy six. 
when me, him, and Byron play. He is like the leader of the pack. He's like, we're doing this. We're doing that. We're doing that. Well, let's go. And then it uh, like then it fades. And it's like, okay, let's get it together, boys. We're going this and we're doing that. All right, let's go. Dude, Forge and Forge is a driving force in a lot of games we play. You know? Uh, that one is on my list. Mm. Dude, if you want to play, we'll play. Well, uh, it's gonna, gonna, uh, man, like, do, you, do you have your internet set up already yet? Nope. Do not. Why? I have yeah. the modem. Okay. I, I paid for service. It, I just haven't fucked with it yet because two hands and a lot of shit. Going mm. on. Yeah, I understand that, man. You got you got a budget. Mm. At least you have cable I, TV, I, I, right? Oh fuck yeah. cable TV. Yeah, I'm not I wasn't gonna pay for that. Who needs Even cable? Though, you did yeah. tell me probably a better package. Yeah, no I, shit. I'll never it watch is. it. I'll never watch it. Again, no. you dipshit, it's still the fuck oh. No that, that, that's why no, you, you dunce. Press, press. No you dunce. God, Let's make sure my uh, up and down was the best I can get in my area. <clears throat> dude, dude, dude. I, I got fiber optic. I got fiber optic. Eat a dick. Oh, God. I got, a thousand, I got a thousand up and a thousand down. Eat the biggest yeah, dick, dick in the world. Okay, God, like, yeah, yeah, we don't have you. that yet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Move the We got satellites made out of corn stalks. It's still at this fucking point. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Move the, move the fucking Florida, Tampa area. God. I got fiber optic. I got... I, I got it. I got stuck in that UAW trap. I'm here until I die or my kids... Bro. Uh, well, me no, you gotta, you, <laughs> well, no, you got to stay there for the kids. Bro. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, well... Me, I tried to stay up there for my kid. And, well, I got to go up in December. Oh, uh, God. See, see what you did. Oh, it. see what you did. Yeah, oh, Jimmy, Jimmy. 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 Jimmy did it. I did it again. Back in the noise. Pay so, man, noise. your ass up, bro. You ain't fucking been answering for like a week. Who, oh, me? Yeah, yeah, you, joke. Yeah, well, I've been, listen, listen, I've been dealing with the old lady with PTSD. Why oh, do you think I ain't, I ain't been streaming? I ain't I been like, doing shit. Right? Like, I think you, you, you got to take care of the old lady. I, I figured you was in jail. <laughs> no, no. Not yet. No, what? No, never. Man, well, I, I mean, don't he would he would get he can still pull out the retard card and it would take him to a, um, a uh, hospital the, the, instead of the. It would take gym. me to the fifth floor <laughs> <laughs> or seven. <laughs> they, they, they let, they let the retard go onto the seventh floor. Oh, no, it's usually it's the basement, isn't it? That's where they put my ass. No, no, oh <laughs> God, no, 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 dude. It, in Hackensack, it's the fifth floor, and that's the only ward that you get the smoke. But anyway, uh, um, oh god! It was well, awesome. see, around here they got they got like a they got like a one floor joint, right? Like mm. full of like motherfucking like retard and shit across from the house. Oh yeah, but I'm not like a drooling retard. Well, I'm not talking about like yo because like the motherfuckers be trying to jump and we ain't trying to install Dude. suicide net and shit. Dude, this me. is the first time I opened up Discord, right, and looked at it. No offense to you. I saw what you I, I, I saw what you ask and I'll do it. But but please understand me that, that I had to take care of things homestead with my old end. You know what? I ain't sure we good. All right, and, um if you know what that knows, I forgot to message you today. Um I'm not done with that shit. Um I got I should have like next two days off and this fucking weekend I'm open. Mm. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's just, I was gonna go back home with you earlier. It's just, man, you know how shit is in life. <laughs> I just have a lot on my Yo, plate at one time and time frame to do it. I feel you. I feel you. I was at, I was at the kids' doctor today. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Like, and, you know, no, yeah, no, no, no. You got to take care of things. You got to take care of shit. My, yeah, my three year old had a, had a checkup and shit, and the doctor was like, she's looking like she's doing good. I was like, Yo, thank you. Hell yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, yeah. guys, I got to stroll back in and uh, pretend to care about my job. You all go. Later. Bye, hey, later. Ed, I'll catch yep. you later, brother. I'm going to stream after um, Poopy Pants <clears throat> um, Gaming is done. A poopy all right, pants. sounds good. You all have a good one. Later. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go. When's, when's the last time you pooped your pants? Is that Vash? Um, Vash! Hey, Vash. Stampede? Um, let's see. Uh -huh. it, uh, well, do skitters count? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. No, no, no. It depends. Well, that that's an anti-wiping uh, doctrine. That I no, no, no. You can have, like, those, like, the motherfucking wet farts you like. Fucking really rough. Hey, doctrine. listen. Don't trust a fart after you're 50, motherfucker. <laughs> or, 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 or if you're gay, don't trust a fart. Hey. <clears throat> what? Do I you trust take my it farts. Up, do you take it up the cornhole? Hell yeah. All right. Well, you better invest <clears throat> in some brown underwear, motherfucker. Hell no. It's never happened. Never had that and, issue. Or, or, or some mm. spray stain. On the back of your fucking shit. Either that or you ain't getting it that often. Oh, I get it often enough. Yeah, well, obviously his dick isn't big enough to stretch out your ass. Well, it depends which guy we're talking about. Oh my god, he likes black men. I, I don't care about the color. He, he wants, he wants that baby arm. Oh, wait a minute. Vash said something. He, he wants he wants that baby arm dick. <laughs> <clears throat> the bigger the better. That's why I said come the stately joke manner. You can meet <laughs> Disky and you can have a good time frolicking in a hot tub. I'll put in bubbles and we'll film it and we'll make a million dollars. He's, he's gonna be standing. He's gonna like be on the side with a motherfucking tube and shit, just blowing into the motherfucking hot tub and shit. <laughs> oh no, 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 dude! I'll be the one fucking keep cranking it to fifteen and keep turning up the heat. Those motherfuckers will look like lobsters, but before Black I'm done, lobster. He's gonna be, he's gonna be, he's gonna be chopping in carrots and shit, <laughs> just like Bugs Bunny and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Potatoes. <laughs> oh my god, that's a great idea. Dude, you just gave me a great idea. Thank you. Oh, no. Hold it. I'm writing that down. And, and and guess what? I'm gonna credit you for that <laughs> fucking idea. Holy <laughs> fuck. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, I'm don't, don't, credit, don't credit me. Credit Mitch Hedberg. All right. Bugs. Mitch Hedberg. Buddy. Credit Mitch Hedberg. Mitch? <laughs> Mitch Hedberg. Oh, fuck him. You yo, fuck. This is shit. Yo, I, yo, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, I be telling motherfuckers hop in the hot tub, man. You know, just sit there and fucking just start cutting up the motherfucking potatoes and carrots. Oh shit! And shit. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! In, in the fucking general, <laughs> <laughs> Nacho Thomas. Look at him. <laughs> oh god, you guys are too funny. Hey, listen, I got, I got to beat feet. Hey, stop it. I love you, brother. Samaj, uh, we're going to talk in DMs, gaming and yelling. What can I say about you that that every hasn't? truck stop bathroom hasn't said already? You uh, son of a bitch. I, I, you just got to read the stalls. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Quee Quee, congratulations on your stream, boss. You are the man, and I bow to you. Even though you're black, uh -huh. um, <laughs> Actually, man, black. Yeah. Hey, hold on, I gotta say goodbyes before I go. <clears throat> it, it, you gotta be polite, right? Uh, my man, my man, Pinoy, the oh, man who can make a fucking steak just <laughs> like what, 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 perfect one hand and then cook it to rare perfection. A New York sirloin. Love you, brother. Love you too, hey, man. Hey, hey, hey. I'm, I'm, I'm back on. So, yeah. We can do that thing. Whatever you want to do. Hey, no problem. And Bash. 
Vash. What's up? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already in the process. Ah, oh, turn nice. the camera on. <laughs> God damn fucking tease. Fucking motherfuckers. Hey, son. <laughs> uh? Are you gonna are you gonna do any more uh, like forge stuff? Yeah, like I said, I gotta get something that's worth showing you guys, because most of it's just fucking prep work right now. Well, even the prep work, you can make, like, a couple of video tutorials on, like, you know. Yeah. Act like, act like somebody doesn't know shit about shit about fucking smithing. That's not hard to do anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no one, none of us know shit about shit about smithing mm -hmm. right? 2021. We do. I mean, I've made a pocket knife, but that's about it. Pocket knives are hard as shit to make, man. That's a lot of small shit to put together on it. I've seen people yeah. make huge ones, I've seen people make small ones. But I think the hardest thing I've ever made in my life is fucking making hand cut nails. The fuck is a hand cut nail? So, you know how the Amish make those square tip nails that are like sort of the triangular? The best whenever it comes yep. to wood. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Hammer, yeah, you can hammer wood to concrete with these fucking things. Now I know what it is. Should you, should you be inclined to hammer wood to concrete, but it'll work. I've watched yeah, people that, do that, that shit. Anything. Like whenever you put that shit in there, the only way it's coming out is if it basically breaks part of the board. Yeah, breaks break, part of the board. Yeah, the board itself. Yeah. The board of the ball gets that bitch out. That's the, probably the hardest thing I've ever made in my life. And I don't like making them, because it's a pain in the ass. Can you make one for me? A uh, hand-cut nail? Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess it could. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'll take a whole hundred. <laughs> All right, that'll be about $150. <laughs> now, I would Just to torture you, I probably would. That's actually, that's <laughs> surprisingly cheap. So, like, why is it hard when, like, the Amish used to make them on site to build every goddamn thing? It's because the specific way you make them, it's not very common to do anymore, besides Amish and Mennonites. I actually sold a small box that I made. I fucking made about 500 nails, and I sold about 50 of them to an Amish man at a, a farmer's market. Nice. I was actually impressed that he bought them. He's like, did you make these? I was like, yeah. He's like, hmm. How much you want for it? I don't know. They gave me a dollar. <laughs> dollar? Yeah, I, it's not like I, I took them to the market, man. It was like, I, fuck if I know, man, here. I'm so, I imagine he picked them up and went home and said, all right, this ain't bad, but we make better. All right, now take this box, empty out his horse shit, put our shit in it, and charge $50 for it. <laughs> <laughs> But still, no, he bought it. He seemed pretty pleased with the end result, which I was overly proud of. I was like, yeah. oh my god, I spilled something to Mennonites and Amish. <laughs> Hell yeah. Amish man, shit. But other than that, it was like, eh, it's not that big of a thing. But it's just tedious. That's the only thing that's the hard part about it. And you don't yeah, want to fuck up. You're them. constantly pinking it down to like being like square and to a point. It's and the really head of it, you gotta make sure that it's flat. Oh yeah, you gotta have a good nail header for it. I gotta get a new one. My old one broke. But uh, how is it that you do like where where the flat uh, the flat part is? Um, how how do you get it to where it's uh, like? Do Even... you just add like a new piece of steel, or is it all consecutively one piece? I use a, a long bar and mm -hmm. I just hammer it down until I get to the shape I want. Then I slide the nail header in there and I break it off more or less. Okay. And then I toss it in the bucket. And then I keep working the point down. It's just repetitive. That's the tedious part. I don't like making them. But they're handy as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Like that, that's, some, that's some shit that I could watch. Yeah. 
Oh, like I, I would I'll watch that. I'd watch smithing. Like that should be. <laughs> Don't request cool. me to make nails, man. That's 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 a lot. I want make you to make nails. nails. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're terrible, horrible people that are punishing me. I mean, no, I would I would say like you know you film it and us, then do yeah. like the fast forward thing. You know. Oh, like everybody time else time. says. Oh yeah, yeah. I could probably. I gotta get someone to start with working on those for me. I got and then somebody maybe like, like do like, like commentary over it. Maybe do some dry ass fucking. And I hit it a lot. You just work it down, and you hit it some more. I think I farted there. All right, I hit it, it might again. be only one getting turned <laughs> down by because commentary. Well, I mean, you could you could also be like I I chose to use this type of metal because oh, yeah. you I know, know what you're talking about. I'm just being facetious about it. I mean, I got I got somebody lined up to be my cameraman finally, so someone can work the camera and like zoom in when I want them to, instead of trying to do it in post. And it looked terrible. Or use this remote I have, which is also equally shitty. I did some test runs with it. It's frustrating. Yeah. I you would think that you'd like, need like, about like at least like three camera. cameras. You would think yeah, you need somebody with like one of those really nice cameras so you could do like they do with uh, like those cooking channels where they be motherfucking like flipping steaks and see like the sizzle and like motherfucking flames come off right and yeah, put some of that sexy music on and this shit. Yeah, I was that was the idea of getting this camera guy to do so that way I could have them if they have a camera already, which the guy I think I'm talking to says he has two, so we can connect those to my uh, what is that fucking thing? God damn it. That program that most people use for streaming. OBS? Uh, yeah. He said he can work with OBS and make it where we can do a camera one where I'm going and then transition to camera two or three. That'll He's going to put one above me, but slightly angled down. One on my other side near the forge. Well, and my, no, don't, don't, don't put it in your OBS. Oh, you just mean record it as is and then... Yeah. And then, like, okay. you need a program, like, I got this program called DaVinci, which is really good for, like, cutting shit up and adding it and increasing <clears> volume <throat> and throwing underneath the things, you know what I mean? Slowing shit yeah. down, speed it up, you know what I mean? By the way, oh, yeah. uh, hold on, uh, The Killing Joke donated ten more dollars and says Pearl Necklace. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not okay with that. <laughs> and you should. But yeah, like I got this program called uh, DaVinci Resolve, get it free, right? Yeah. And like basically, like it allows you to like put in as many clips as you want to, and then like cut it down to what you need it to be. And I mean, they make like the best looks of what you have, and then you know, you can slow stuff down while you're hitting it or whatever, or like you know, throw in like some of that like fucking sound after sound sound music, whatever fucking bullshit you're gonna use in the background. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, pretty fucking. You know I mean, I got some shit you can use. I mean, most definitely for like video editing and shit. But I can show you how to use it. It's really fucking easy. Like really easy. It's literally like, like you take all the, you take all your clips, you put them into like a fucking like uh like a, almost like a file inside of this thing, and it's, they're all like there or whatever. They're labeled, and then you take them and you just like fucking drag them onto your thing, right, on your timeline, and then the timeline just has a bar. You know I mean, for video yeah. bar for fucking joint. And then you can that take it and you have a cutting toy with a razor blade and it just cuts it, cut, and then take it, click on it, so I can left click, delete, you know I mean, whatever you don't want, add whatever, then you add in your next clip or whatever, and you just do that. And you yeah. fucking make it so easy. Make it super professional. Well, I do need to step up my game with that kind of thing. Yeah, make it well, that way, you know I mean, you're doing like all this good work, you should make it presentable. For people. Yeah. Not me. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll definitely start researching that and talk with the guy I got to do the setup. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get this new tools in so I can kind of do a one stop on a make it probably be like a 30 minute video with a time crunch. Yeah. I mean, no one's gonna Not watch 30 minutes of that, but you know what I mean. No worries, killing joke. You can make it like probably like 12 or 15 minutes. You know what I mean? Oh, probably. Yeah, we can cut out a lot of bullshit. And do a lot of transitions and slow down where we need to explain something. 
Yeah. I end my turn. My turn. I draw. No, no one you could make it. Continue. You could make it for like millennials, where like you have a whole bunch of ba 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 ba. Fucking yeah. the... You I mean the zoomers? I... <laughs> yeah, zoomers. We'll go with zoomers or millennials, either way. I mean, eh, they're different. One likes bright colors, the other one likes weird sounds. <clears throat> you could do both. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to appeal to everybody. You know what I'll do? I'll wear plaid and flannel for the Gen Xers, so I'll have like an, a whole fucking generational loop. Oh. There you go, and then you gotta put like some avocados on some shit, you know what I mean? Somewhere, like, yeah, oh. they'll just be somewhere. You have to have like... like eat some avocado have... toast as yeah. you're doing it. Yeah. Gross, yeah, like, but have some avocados around, and, like, even if you don't have a big beard, like, just put one on pretending why, right? You know what I mean? Because they really like beards and shit. It's kind of creepy nowadays when they do that. They obsess what? over it. Obsess yeah. over ginormous beards. Yeah, I feel you, right? And, like, even the motherfuckers who shouldn't be having beards be having beard, it, it's fucking weird. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, I agree with you. I'm glad I cut mine shorter so that people won't touch it. So, oh, man, listen, the motherfucker walks up, and touches my beard, I'm gonna punch him in the face. Well, it's you like Jim punch Bundy's me in the face. Gym, right? That's a hate crime. I don't care. You should. <laughs> <laughs> when does Pinoy gave a shit if it was a hate crime or not? But to be <laughs> fair, to be fair, he loves me too much. He wouldn't dare. Like if I, anything, I I, if anything, it's like it's like the whole Mike Myers bit. If Pinoid's punching you in the face, and that's meaning that he's treating you as an equal. Yes, there you go. Right. <laughs> so, has anybody been paying attention to what's happening in the Kyle Rittenhouse motherfucking trial? Nope. Oh yeah, God, that shit's gold right now, man. Oh, that's yo, it's hilarious. Gold. So the news is saying the exact opposite of what what's actually happening. Oh god, man! That shit. I someone sent me a link to that, and I was like, "Oh, oh, poor baby." Well, I mean, I think that uh, one of the other things that's rather strange is uh, how that is in relation to another thing that happened, like in during two thousand. I think it was. Let's see here. How far back was this? Either way, a bunch of shit's been coming out from the Kyle Rittenhouse thing. I imagine. Well, I love how the fucking witnesses are tattling on themselves. It's yeah, like, it's fucking you know, great, right? Amendment. Yeah, I know. Like, Fifth yeah. Amendment. Hi, Willie. <clears throat> Willie, like, you're late. Literally, like, one of the dudes who got shot, like, fucking, uh, he sat here and he said, like, this was today, he said, uh, fucking, like, the lawyer asked him, he said, so... When you put your hands up, Kyle Rittenhouse did not did not fire upon you, right? He said correct. He said it was. He said once once you uh, stood here and put your gun on him and started firing at him is when he returned fire, correct? Yes, sir. <laughs> Wait, what? Wow. Yo, hang on a Yo, this guy hit with a self defense joint right there. Pino and it, that Pino be going to the thing. What up? Post post the fucking prosecutor's face because there's a beautiful image where someone took a photo of him. He has, if he could facepalm through his skull, it would be through his fucking skull. Oh, please, if you have it, uh, somebody send it to me. I want to see this, because I don't no, know nothing about it. Yeah. I'm not keeping up with this case. Like, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not either, right? But, like, on the same point, when I see something, it's usually really short. It's like a two- or three-minute clip that I just fucking yeah. I watch, it, right? But, yeah, it's on the end of the video I put my uh, Discord earlier and shit. Oh, yeah, it was beautiful seeing the prosecutor going, God damn it, I hope they don't disembar disbar me for this. That's the expression he has. <laughs> they should. He had no fucking case whatsoever, stupid fuck. None. He, he, he knows wait, now. They should fucking charge him with a fucking court payment. Oh, How the fucking know. money today the fucking uh, government wasted on this fucking retarded case should go against the fucking prosecutor. That's yeah, bullshit. Like we should have some responsibility for that shit. And you know what? They should make fucking laws like that. If you're gonna be a prosecutor, put your money there. If you really think someone's guilty, put your fucking money in it. Well, uh, like, do you know, do you know how it actually works? Mm. Like, it's crazy. Like, it works the opposite way of what you think it does, right? Like, you know, how, like you see law, 
law and order. Mm -hmm. And like fucking the DA goes, I have nothing to go on. You know, you guys need to go give me evidence. He's talking to the attorneys or whatever. That's not how this works at all. Literally, like they go, all right. You know what I'm saying? Like this dude said you did something, right? And then like the, the detective like comes and questions motherfuckers. And then the detective goes, well, we don't have any evidence. They go, all right, we'll just take this to trial and see if fucking um, we can make it stick. Yeah, exactly. Because right? so that's how it works. Literally, they've, they've done it to me like four fucking times. Right, and every time they do it, they're like, yo, I was like, yo, you have no evidence. And they're like, yo, we don't care. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to try and convince a jury. And I'm like, good luck. I'm a fucking charismatic motherfucker who people really, really like deep down inside. You're going to fucking lose every time you try this with me. <laughs> yo, they always do. Yo, it's so dumb. Like, it literally doesn't work the way you think it does. Like, they don't gather evidence and all this other nonsense. Like, yo, they, they literally fucking, they do the investigation while they're prosecuting the case. Yeah, it's not supposed to work that way in the first place. I know, but they don't care. Because, like, yo, they can't, like, put out, like, subpoenas on, like, evidence and all this other type of bullshit until they're actually in the case. That's why it takes, that's a lot of times why it takes so long for them to, like, bring your court case up. Like, usually the most motherfuckers, if you're out on bail, you'll be on bail for, like, two or three years of shot. <clears throat> because like they're evidence against you the whole time, and trying to say it's like it's trying to say they're charging it on you, when in reality the VA is like not ready to proceed with their fucking case. They're trying to wait you out for a fucking plea. Oh yeah, they they try really fucking hard to get you just to do whatever they want. They want you to plea out, right? You know, what I mean that's what they do when they <laughs> charge you. With the plea. When they put you Thank you, Ed. He posted the picture of the fucking prosecutor with his fucking uh, face bomb. <laughs> that shit's fucking gold. Yo, Prosecutors need to be held accountable, but of course, none of the shit that we talk will ever come true, because fuck you, that's why. When Rittenhouse's fucking attorney heard him say that, like, Rittenhouse's attorney just stopped questioning him real quick. He just, he went... Like, he fucking, he sat here and he, he like, stepped back for a second. And you're gonna get to see him, what he was doing. But I'm assuming he was doing a little dance in the corner or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, though, like, I think we got him. I don't know. We got this kid dead to rights, they think. And then it's just bombshell. And the news keeps trying to portray it in some, like, nonsensical way. Well, they don't want to lose, of course. Oh, uh, well, but like, if this I'll... kid wins, I hope he goes after them. <laughs> well, if it goes like they did with that, what's his nuts? That kid with the red hat. Yeah, yeah. Whatever his fucking nuts is, they'll probably. I mean, he's fucking a fucking like... millionaire now, man. I'm fucking oh, God, jealous yeah. of that kid. Fuck yeah. But the first time I saw the fucking video, I was like, oh, what a little fucking schmug piece of shit, giving them that look to the yeah. to that uh, Native American. But I yeah. mean, if I look at the video again, he still looks like a little schmug little shit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you can't take that away, but it... Thanks, Ed, Nick Sandman. But, um... But yeah, I mean, he still looks like a little shit in, in, the, in the video, but... I mean, I hope he goes after that one red-headed cunt. He hasn't gone after her, I don't think. All right. Uh, Kathy Newman or whatever? Uh, no, no, no. Kathy Griffin. Happy there we go. You fucking bitch. She's trying to disappear like a motherfucker. I hope he goes after her, because this bitch said some fucked up shit about uh, about him and all the other kids. Oh, yeah. I still, I, as far as I'm, I'm aware, she's tried to go underground hard. But yeah, the number one rule to, like, not fucking, you know what I mean, getting banged out is don't be at the scene of the crime. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, good times, guys. Good times. Yeah. Good times, man. New York is getting its is winning its case to have concealed carry or carry permits or some shit. Mm. Good. So and... The Democrats just got their asses handed to them in like every election in the country. I mean, again, oh, yeah. this happens every fucking time when. 
when a fucking president changes, so does the House and the Senate. They always change after after a new president is uh, elected. Look at Trump. When Trump won, he had both of the fucking what the House and the Senate, and then the, after two years, he lost uh, he lost one of them. So it always happens like this every fucking election, every cycle. Look at it. Yeah, I agree with you. Wing is like really ridiculous now, right? <clears throat> like for the first time, which might be real, right? Here's here's the thing. Like back when I was, you know, what I'm saying, like fucking first getting into politics and voting and shit, and I was like 19, 20 years old. There was more independence than there were anything to fuck else. Now, yeah. like now, like here's the crazy thing: in a bunch of states right now, there's more Republicans than they are fucking Democrats and independents. Which is fucking bananas. Like, I don't know how the fuck it is the Republican Party is growing. Because it's still a bag of shit party in the end of the day. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But I think that's also the thing, though. Is that these fucking things are... It's just how bad everything's been. Now I see the problem. What? Um, I kept seeing the, one of my... One of the Streamlab uh, donuts coming out wrong. But uh, I see it as part of it. It's part of something else. Sorry, my brain's confused now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. But anyway, like yeah, fucking things is things is bananas on the political front. Like that infrastructure bill is fucking retarded. Oh, absolutely. But man, it's weird how stupid shit has been getting with politically. It's like everybody became retarded, like politically. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, now currently, Washington Post is now a uh, right wing conservative uh, media source. Apparently. What? Yep. Because them revealing what happened in 2016 is now making them a right-wing conservative media source. Over Fishing. one article. What? <laughs> I just love your fucking what? <laughs> no. Like, what type of retarded shit is that? Like, you telling me just because they're not carrying water for they're fucking now a right wing source? Uh, if you're not with no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll show you. I'm they finally about... admitted this, and let me post it in your DMs. Well, what did they admit? Tell me what they admitted. The uh, dossier was actually right. Dossier was right. Yep. What do you mean? Hold on. I'm, what dossier? Um, sending me the article. That the steel dossier was right. No, the steel dossier, they were right about the dossier being bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we put, like, this has been, like, not that, news but... forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but left, they, they can't lie about it anymore. Is what he's saying. Doesn't matter. Nobody's gonna believe it anyways. I mean, the idiot uh, Democrats who believe that it will doesn't matter how what you tell them, they're always gonna believe in it. Oh, of course. Even if the uh, an official government person would tell them in their face, no, it's fake. It's a lie. It's wrong. I don't believe you. People be dumb. I mean, just like I, I keep telling Quick Quick, he's white and he still doesn't believe me. We'll be on the inside. I'm like, Quick Quick, you're white. God damn it. No, I'm not. Mm. Quick Quick. Yes. Brad, let me. You're white, man. All right? Mm -hmm. It can't be. No. Y'all look. You are whiter than, like, small fucking. Content here of a very white person. You're whiter than Richard Spencer. <laughs> oh, God damn. You're whiter than Talcum X. 
Oh, you're way whiter than Calc Matt. Right, <laughs> way, way whiter. Well, there you go. I sent you the uh, three Thanks. articles. Thank you, buddy. Hey, I mean, like now I'm driving right now. I can't see shit. I gotta go to work. Yeah, I overslept tonight. Fucking, I needed a nap before I fucking left. It but, says, uh, quick quiz, uh, uh, I mean, whenever, whenever you're gonna be sitting on the shitter, there's your reading material. I just took a shit before I left. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, if you're if you're drinking as much coffee as I'm thinking you are, it's not gonna be long. I've never, he, I've never drank coffee. Yeah, he done never had coffee in his entire life. Oh. He's that pathetic. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't feel like that's a pathetic thing. I feel like that makes me unique. No, 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 no. Just like I've never had, I've never had root beer. You know. I mean, you're missing out root root beer floats, but then you know. Floats are awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't like black licorice. Ugh, that's, that's no disgusting. one does. God, Why that's... do they keep making it? It's a fucking disgusting. Willie Conkley like some... just said he's whiter than me. God damn, that's white. <laughs> God damn. That's translucent I mean, I mean, right Willie there. Cogley, Willie Cogley's not really white, right? Willie Cogley's white trash. There's a, there's a difference between that. I mean, that's I kind of that's what I said about it when I when he said. He said, uh, uh, Quiz is uh, whiter than me, but I said he's whiter than white trash, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quiqui's more like, um, like Carlton Banks type of white, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a different type of white. Right? Just the smell of Jaeger uh, Meister is disgusting, oh. Willie. That's fucking disgusting. Uh, Jaeger Meister is so foul. I never had it, and I don't ever want to. Well, Is I that had a it. beer? Uh, it's no, an, no, it's liquor. an alcohol. Uh, okay. It's like, um, it's like it's, beer it blood. tastes like licorice. Like black licorice on fucking bitter shit. Like Gross. it's supposed to be like deer's blood and like some other shit with like a black licorice thing. I don't know. It's fucking that. Like, I, I, used, had, I, I had used it to drink before. it. Yo, look, everybody drank that shit back in, like, 2005, 2006. Like, it was huge, right? Like, everybody had to have Jägermeister, right? It was, like, in every drink and all the... It was, it was the Jäger bombs mm. all the fucking time. You'd have Red Bull and Jäger. I hated Red Bull, too. I thought Red Bull was disgusting. It is. I mean... Yeah, it basically tastes like a fucking grapefruit piss in your drink. I know a lot of bitches, like, that's all they drink is motherfucking those uh, yellow fucking Red Bulls and the motherfucking uh, and vodka shit. I mean, I've had uh, orange vodka with sweet tea. That's actually kind of refreshing. I like vodka and orange juice. That's not a terrible drink. Uh, screwball. Screwdriver. That's screwball. You're a screwball. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was wondering if anybody was going to correct me on that. I was like, eh, I'm too tired. Like, I was fucking exhausted. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, like, yeah, man. Things is, things is bananas right now, man. Like, legitimately. I don't know exactly what's going on. I think they're trying to reinstall the corporate small fucking like oligarchy. I don't know. Like they're trying to move away from populism, but it's just not dying. Well, it's going to be the internet versus the government. Well, it's going to be the people versus the government here soon. Oh, what's going on? Well, like, you know, like, fucking this whole Let's Go Branded thing. They mm -hmm. got, like, fucking another 200,000 employees are planning on striking next week. Or wait, <laughs> which employees to what? Um, I think they're nurses and shit in some oh. state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, like, fucking, again, like, just things is fucked up just as a whole. 
right? Mm -hmm. You know, so like I'm standing here and I'm like, man, listen, like, and here's the crazy thing. Like, what is gas prices around where y'all are at? Because uh, I know it's really expensive here in VA. It's like two like, something here. Almost four bucks. Yeah, it's three fifty where I'm at. Like, how, how long is that sustainable? Like, 100%. Like, yo, because, like, inflation's only sustainable as long as, like, there's extra liquidity in the system. Like, there, there has to be a limit of how long that this can last. Yeah. Yeah. A year. I don't know. Legit, because like the shipping industry can only tolerate four dollars and some change a gallon for diesel for so long. Until like things get fucking like really, really crazy. Right? I mean, because it's not just like the cost of fuel, it's also the cost of credit for fuel. Which means that money has to go back to drivers and shit. People have to charge more for fucking loads, which means that, like, the cost of shipping, just basic in general, is going to have to go up through the roof. Which is good for me, because I make more money. But, like, for y'all, it's going to be terrible, because you're not going to be able to get anything. How much stronger I am than you. Take this. I attack. We're all going to die. Except Pinoy, apparently. Yeah, no, Pinoy's cool. I'm always good. <laughs> like, there's a reason I do what I do. Right, like I know that I'm never gonna starve. Like cause I'm fucking top shelf of what the hell I'm supposed to be. I can get any job I want, whenever the fuck I want, and never stop working. I feel like a lad. I mean, I'm like I'm one step ahead of the hangman. You know, it'll be one of those Mad Max truck drivers delivering food across the country, fighting off bandits with a shotgun. Nope. Nope. Just at that point, I'm gonna say fuck you. <laughs> Think I'm gonna fucking defend y'all, food? You fell down and bumped your head. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> y'all ain't paying me for that. Oh. 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 God damn it! Why is so much even got a can came in here if he's not gonna even talk? Now, now he needs his daily session of. So much time. Yeah, so, you know, it, I'm there's always going to need to be truckers, and there's always going to need to be people to fix them fucking trucks. Yep, yep. Transportation is a goddamn necessity. Yep. If you don't run, they ain't fucking worth it. So they're either going to buy it or fix it. Yep. I'm trying to talk to my nephew about going and like taking a fucking trade school and shit. It's like, dude, you gotta learn something fucking that is necessity. It make yourself not replaceable. I don't, I don't know how to answer that, Jim. Oh, what Jim, doing today? Jim asks, will coffee become a critical supply, or is it already? Dude, if they shut off coffee, I would flip out. Coffee is so <laughs> not going insane. They fucking stop both of them. Oh, did you see? Did you see uh, the Biden official on uh, fucking CNBC laugh when they asked her what they're gonna do about the fucking like about the people not being able to afford heating oil? What? What are you fucking talking about? No, I did not hear that. Oh fucking yeah! This uh, fucking broad started cackling. Well, fucking throw her out of office. She right. can't fucking take it seriously. Well, she started cackling. She said, ah, ha, 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 Jim. Fucking, they said, what are you guys trying to do about oil prices and shit? And fucking, she, or she's like, ah, ha, 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 yeah, don't give a fuck oil, oil, oil isn't, oil isn't something we can fix. That's set by this cartel known as OPEC. In case you didn't know. Fuck. Dude, they don't give a shit about us. Yeah, I know. I know you know. <laughs> they have I know. Every time I fucking say it, it just reaffirms it in my mind. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck about us. Make your move. Uh, uh, man, my fucking 
dad's fucking dually today broke the fucking U-bolts. So I had a fucking, for the rear end, I fucking had to fix them. Fucking. Oh, God. Gotta love it. Fucking rust. Yay. Yay. They started using fucking salt in some of the small towns in PA, I noticed. I gotta get fucking bad. What? I didn't. I didn't notice that disappointment but for like 10 p.m. <laughs> mm. Yep. Ah, goddamn it! I'm gonna have to get the fuck over here, get this fucking joint, get the fuck out of Dodge, and get it quick. Pedal to the metal. metal. You can't. You can't be missing appointments in fucking in that fucking Amazon. Like, yo, there are all types of like. Fucking fuckity fuck 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 towards you. You know what I mean? What's more perfect than perfect? Right. With the gas prices and diesel going up, that's gonna fucking make everyone's shipping costs go up too. Yo, I've seen diesel for four seventy five a fucking gallon. Yeah. And you get caught using fucking off road, they screw the shit out of you. Yep. That shit's fucking uh three seventy here. At the fucking Indian reservation, the off road, regular diesels four fifteen or four twenty a gallon here, like a fucking Brickville. Yeah, it's like four seventy five to love. Yeah. Fuck. Fucking regular motherfucking gas is three fifty a fucking gallon here. Yeah, so uh, three forty, three forty nine or whatever around here. Yeah. Fucking shit. <laughs> And they know they can charge that because people need fucking gas. Yeah, people will pay whatever the fuck it is. When it was five dollars a gallon is when I had my Caprice and I was getting less than fucking ten miles a gallon in that car. That sucked. Fucking half my paycheck went to fuel. Ah. Well, I had, I had two fucking Chevy fifteen hundreds I was running, and a Ford Exploder. Fucking oh. back when fucking fuel, back when it was like four dollars a gallon in two in uh, like two thousand nine. Get the V eight in it, right? <clears throat> Three fifties in both of them. Yep, and in the fucking uh, exploder, you had the four six or the five point four. I had the four six. Yeah, yeah, fuck, dude, you're not, you weren't getting away fucking scot free with none of them. Yeah, legit, I had, <laughs> yo. I had, I had two 25 gallon tanks on the 1500 too. Yeah, you see the tandem tanks. Yeah. Remember that shit? One on each side. Dude, you would laugh. I drove 200 miles with a Scion XP with a fucking table on the roof. A 300 pound table. Jesus. For what reason? Uh, my uncle is a fucking uh, gunsmith. So we built him a shooting table out of wood. And the last one we built 14 years ago rotted out, so we built another one. And because the fucking dually broke, we couldn't bring it down in the dually, so we threw it on the to on the scion. We call it the toaster. And just fucking drove the bitch down there at 70 all the way. The fucking dude, you drive at two, three o'clock in the morning, no one stops here. No one gives a fuck. There's no one on the road. Gotta watch for deer. <laughs> Yeah. I've seen a lot of dead deer. Yeah, there's a ton of them motherfuckers on the road right now. I probably saw like five on the way down. This fucking shit's scary, man. You hit a fucking deer, man. It shit hurts. I don't give a fuck who you are. I ain't hit shit. I'm saying I saw five of the fucking dead joints on the side of the road. Oh, well, yeah, you're also on the semi. Fucking. Still no, no, no. I'm in my regular car heading down. Oh, oh shit. Dude. Fuck yeah. yeah. Yeah, fuck that shit. Like a 40, in a 40 minute ride, there's five fucking dead deer on the side of the goddamn road heading down through. Yeah, that's sketchy, isn't it? It's like, ah, oh, shit, my chances are going down. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like they're going up with every deer that dies. No? Yeah, good point. That's why I like fucking shooting them, too. People are like, oh, you can't shoot deer. I'm like, fuck, first of all, they're made of food. Second of they're all, they're made of food. <laughs> <laughs> I like that mentality. Deer are made of food. 
Right? <laughs> and also, well, you know what I mean? Like, squirrels are also made of food, you know? <laughs> well, I'm not hungry enough to fucking eat people. Ew. Yeah, I feel you. I hope that doesn't fucking happen, but the way the shit's going, give it fucking 15 years, we'll see. Man, look, I'm not eating people. I don't give a fuck. Not that, like, fucking... <laughs> Literally, like, fucking people, like, fucking, fucking killing someone over, like, a bottle of water or something. Uh, hopefully, it don't get to that fucking people shit. People do it now, anyways. Yeah. Uh, you get your fucking face splattered for, like, a pair of Jordans and shit, son. Dude, when I got robbed, they tried stealing my fucking toaster. The Scion? I call it the toaster. But it's a 2005 fucking Scion XB with like 200,000 miles on it. Someone tried fucking stealing it. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Yo, who would steal that shit? Fucking crackheads, fucking druggies, fucking gangbangers, you know. No one, they don't give a fuck around here. I've never even seen a gang ever, right? I don't even know what this gangbanging shit is. Like, yo, motherfuckers, like, I, everybody always used to say, like, yo, what, you gangbangers all over the place. Like, what are you talking about? And, like, yo, like, oh, they're dressed like you and me. Hoodlums. Hoodlums, yeah. Right, hoodlums. Hoodlums have always been a problem. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking, they dress as you and me. Juvenile fucking delinquent shit. Fuck. Fucking, uh, I see what you mean with the fucking Amish, dude. I was wearing a fucking sl my Slayer hoodie at this fucking gas station, and an Amish dude was reading my fucking Slayer shirt, and it said Slaytanic on it. And he's like, you're gonna burn in hell for that. And I was like, I didn't answer your fucking opinion. I'm like, who the fuck I, just... I mean, the Amish, at least the Amish come by an honest, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, at least the Amish, you know, they fucking mean it. You know what I mean? They out there smell like cow shit every day, you know what I mean? And walking around with, like, the shit kickers. I don't mind the homage as much as I motherfucking mind, like, the new breed of fucking, like, the Xenial, Gen Zers, right, coming up through with their fucking nonsense and their goddamn Christianity. It's you know, just a noise of nonsense. I don't give a fuck about them, like, personally. But just don't walk up to me and fucking say, I'm gonna burn in hell. Fuck, we don't give a fuck who you are, you say nah, that nah, shit. Nah, 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 you just gotta, you gotta look at him and be like, I'll be in good company. Fine. I have a few minutes to spare. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, when you get to hell, I think you're gonna, like, yo, when you get to heaven, you get linked up with, like, all your family members and, like, your uncles and aunts and grandparents. You get to hell, I think you get linked up with, like, every piece of sketch you fuck the back in the day. Dude, it's like, uh, there was a comedian that said, when a fucking suicide bomber dies, they get 72 virgins. Who the yeah. fuck wants a virgin? Feel you, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, all those really good skanks from back in the day and shit, you're gonna get them back when you get the fucking hell. Yeah, and half my family's in fucking, most, more than half my family's in hell. <laughs> in hell, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? None of us are good people. I, look, I ain't I look, looking to go to heaven. I don't like to think I'm a decent person, but I'm not a fucking Bible fucker. I ain't scared, motherfucker. It'll be what it is. Exactly. It is what it is. When that time comes, fucking smile and fucking tell it, fuck you. Ah. Oh, so uh, like, yo, fucking, I, we decided, I, me and my sidekick came up with, um, whatchamacallit, for his, uh, his avatar, right? Well, his first character in the cartoon. Right? And it's gangster, right? It's a Grim Reaper with a smiley face and a motherfucking shotgun fucking blade on the end, right? Instead of like a stack. I respect that. That's gangster. I like shotguns. Yeah, me too. 12 gauge is my favorite gun. I'll be real. I love my fucking. Dude, no shit. What the fuck? You know, you know, I keep one next to me at all times in the house. I don't give a fuck. And listen, what's going on with you today, Willie, man? You're kind of all wound up. No, I fucking had a real long day at work. Fixing fucking my dad's shit, because he's fucking broken, can't do it. My brother had a fucking free day of fucking nursing a fucking cocaine hangover. And we didn't make any money. I'm fucking tired. I'm really tired. 
Yeah, I know where you are. Fucking, over the weekend, I burnt my fucking hand with battery acid. Fucking. Battery you know, acid? Yeah. I was fucking changing a battery on a tractor. Fucking thing's been sitting for fucking ever. They're like, oh, no one wants to do it. I'm like, I'll fucking do it. I don't care. I should have worked well. I made hot wings, like in the deep fryer yesterday. And then I made uh, my fucking bratwurst and sauerkraut. That sounds good. I'll be honest with you. The bratwurst and sauerkraut, like, I don't think the sauerkraut was good. Like, I don't know. You used the bag shit or the can shit? The bag shit. Yeah, fuck, that's the way you go. How long did you boil it for in the crock pot? Like, two hours. Yeah, fuck, you should have let that shit sit in there for like three, four hours on like fucking low. Well, like, I wanted to eat, bro. I was hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 um, I gave some to my kid, and my daughter woke up, or my daughter was like up jacking her guts out all night when I was playing. Right? You know what I mean? And I'll be honest, like, I don't think it tastes so well going down. Like, I don't know. I felt some sort of kind of way about it. Fucking do it again. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not, I feel like I should have rinsed the motherfucking sauerkraut. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't even rinse. I just threw it the fuck in because I was starving. I uh, right. usually I blanch it quick. I gotta get a pot of boiling water, dump the sauerkraut in there, strain the sauerkraut up, sauerkraut out, then put it in the crock pot, and then or, like or not like eat that burgers. disgusting shit ever. I mean, it's fucking, exactly. fucking oh, disgusting, God. gross. Sauerkraut is amazing. Amazing in the in the oh, fucking God. trash can or in the toilet or. Gaming. Do you ever have pickled eggs? Hell no. Oh, dicks are good. Yeah, people things are fucking good. Fucking whatever. Each person has their own likes and dislikes. What a devil bag. Nope. Oh, fuck, dude. So I, I don't eat fucking two dozen of those. <laughs> yeah, two dozen, up. I mean. And no pickles. So we feel the same way about sauerkraut and motherfucking devil eggs and fucking, uh, motherfucking pickled eggs. God damn it. I was trying to shift up into a higher gear, and I don't have one. Oh, wait. Oh, you're in an automatic? No. 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 Fucking, I'm in a fucking 10-speed manual, and I tried to shift out of 10. I'm like, look, I was looking for an 11. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're already in high gear in your diff? Huh? You're already in high gear in your diff, right? Fuck. Yeah. So you're used yeah. to, like, fucking, what, like an 18-speed or something? No, 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 no. Like, I just feel like I'm not going fast enough. The engine was revving too high. Like I shift, I shift by the sound, right? I don't shift by RPM shit. You know, your speed. Did I know what you mean? Uh huh. Like you hear, like you hear the motherfucking engine singing out. Like all right, not for next year. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When it's some hum and harmonic, just like that yawn. Yes, you know. harmonic. You can hear it when it starts to hum out. That's when you fucking throw it in the next gear and you just let it start fucking digging yeah. again. Hear that, hear that, hear that, hear that. Fuck, it's time to go to the next. Yep. Fuck, I never had any tax on my dirt bikes or nothing. You know when to shift. Either that or <laughs> when it don't rev any higher. Once you start hearing it sing off all the limiters, like, time to shift, motherfucker, dummy. Right? It's like, what the fuck are you trying to do to me? <laughs> but you hear them bow, tap, dancing on the motherfucking hood. It's time to shift gear. <laughs> fuck. I also smoked like 10 joints today. Fucking, I was getting stressed out. Why you need to relax? You know what I'm saying? Chill the fuck out. That's why I smoked oh, ten joints today. That's and not smoking. Hey, yo, gaming. You know what I'm saying about how I need to get fucked. You cut off. I what? couldn't hear you. See how you be getting fucked? You be getting fucked up working on cars. Uh huh. Try to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're saying. Your mic's cutting in and out. Wow, well, you know. 
Probably cause like you know the moment you come into Harrisburg, it's just like abandon all hope and cellular signal. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I wrote a not funny script for my second episode mm. because I had a massive headache. Oof! <laughs> like, yo, throw it I away. Up, Start over. I, yeah, I gave up caffeine and shit, right? Mm -hmm. Right, because I originally had a script where, like, I was gonna, like, my homie was gonna get raped by motherfucking uh, meth zombies, mm -hmm. right? And then I figured out a way to make Floyd fucking get raped by the meth zombies and shit. Okay, I'm interested. This is funny. Right? And, like, so... Like, but there's only, like, two or three funny parts of the episode, right? One is the conversation after he gets raped, right? Because, like, he's, like, fucking... Oh, we go to pick him up or whatever, right? Like, fuck, we had to go save him because, like, we were, like, stealing, like, a bunch of Sudafed off, of off the ship or whatever, right? And then, like, fucking, in the middle of us doing it, like, he screams out because he broke a hill and fell and then got raped by the motherfucking mess zombies and shit, right? Mm. And as we pull up, like, he's getting raped by the mess zombies. And then, like, fucking, like, fucking, so we grab him and motherfucking throw him in the back, you know what I'm saying? And, like, he's sitting there looking all bewildered and ridiculous and covered in motherfucking zombie gum, right? And motherfucking, like, what the fuck is it? Fucking, he's like, yo, man, motherfucker, motherfucker, yo, we got raped by some motherfucking them zombies, right? And motherfucking, because like we put him in a dress to distract the zombies so we could steal some shit off this boat, right? And like, so fucking, he's like, I can hear you, right? And fucking, we're like, shut up, motherfucking, what do you say? Uh, you're not running, motherfucker, right? And then he's like, he's like, I got raped. And I was like, yo, and like, fucking my boy was like, bro, fucking you look like you was throwing that shit back to me. And I was like, yeah, you can't rape the willing, nigga. Right? <laughs> yo, yo. Dude, that's fucking hilarious. You know, I, you should make uh, some of those zombies into furry zombies. He, oh, she would like that. Yeah. Make, it in, make it a furry uh, zombie. Right, right. He would definitely be throwing costume. it back. And then, and then we go take him home, and we drop him off, and he gets in the house, and his wife's like, yells out, why are you covered in cum? Right? And she, and then he goes, I was raped. And she goes, you can't rape the willing, you fucking queer. <laughs> <laughs> and that's about as far as I got with that episode. That hey, sounds, sounds good. Sounds good. By the way, oh, when Samaj comes back, tell him that he's in charge, because I'm going to go get some to eat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll be back. Dude, that's fucking fucked up. They both said, you can't break the will of your fucking queer. That's fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't even fight back, you fuck. <laughs> yeah. So, like, that's that's what I was thinking about this episode of shit. You know, but like it seems like in my brain when I read it, I'm not, I haven't read it since I've been like normal, right? Because I've been going through like caffeine withdrawal all weekend and shit, right? Like, and I just you know, it's just like straight savage. You know what I mean? Like, there's a part, there's a part of the episode where like we're in the woods and like my fucking and he's and like I fuck, I let off like I fucking like I just pulled out my fucking 12 gauge and blast off. And he's like, I got my fucking ears, right? And then fucking like we go into the woods and shit, you know. I mean, he's like, "Motherfucker, you know, fucking, I can't hear nothing." And fucking, I shoot again. He goes, ah, shit. and he fucking he's rolling around on the ground or whatever, right? You know, like I don't know, like it's just it's just savagery, <laughs> right? For a lot of the episode, yeah, dude, you got to make one of the fucking meth zombies die by a broken vodka bottle or something. That'd be hilarious. How is that funny? It would, for me, it would be funny. Instead of ah. a beer bottle, a fucking like a half gallon vodka bottle. Fucking upgrade from the Irish Irish switchblade to a fucking murder weapon. Well, like, goddamn it, motherfuckers! Ah, oh, Jesus! Get out of the what? fucking way, dummy! Out what of the way, you? dummy! Move, dummy! Dude, Dude, I want to get a fucking PA speaker for my car. Because it's like 
fuck you just want to yell, get the fuck out of the way. You know what I mean? Well, I, well, I got to get fucking, out of the fucking, I went to the wrong place. Like, I went to the fucking name. I was supposed to be in Dunkville, which is down the road. Like, Did you just say Ames? Maine. Maine. Oh. I went to Maine. I was about to say, a fucking Ames hasn't been open in 20 fucking years. I go to Ames every once in a while. They're still open down there? I, like, the Ames true temper joints are. Really? Huh. Yeah, like, the Ames true temper uh, still sells, like, fucking axes and shovels and shit. Like, we have two of their factories around here. Wait, but there's been none of that shit up here fucking... Since I was a little kid. Well, all right. So, like, have you ever been to True Value Hardware? Yeah. That's Ames. Oh, so they just changed the name? Yep. Okay. Oh, fuck. All right. Like, when you go in and you look at the motherfucking label, you know what I'm saying? If you remember the old Ames label, it looks the exact same. Okay. They went into bankruptcy. They were bought by some other company. Like, the company's still in trouble. It's still garbage, right? But, like, a lot of that shit's manufactured here. You know what I mean? Like, we make all, like, the shovels and the, like, the fucking sledgehammers and the rakes and the motherfucking brooms and shit. Dude, a lot of the old shit, uh, anything that says made in fucking Buffalo, New York, any old steel, like, tools, yes, yeah. fucking real fucking steel. Fucking. I now the shit, they're, they fucking still don't make it, but it's like pot metal. It's fucking porous. Fucking weak. Well, I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you what I really like is those Pittsburgh tools, right? Yeah, fuck yeah, Pittsburgh. I fucking use them all the time from Harbor Freight. I beat the fuck out of them. Fuck yeah. Like, I, yo, I always like I always keep a breaker bar from all fucking Pittsburgh steel and shit. My dad's truck didn't already get his dualies off. I had a three-quarter inch ratchet with a fucking adapter for half inch and a Pittsburgh fucking inch and an eighth socket. Yeah. Eight, foot, eight foot fucking piece of DOM pipe on it. Fucking jumping on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't, didn't break the socket. Broke the extension. <laughs> and it was a snap on. <clears throat> Yo, that, I'll be real, man. I'm not super impressed with snap on. No, their shit's garbage, you know. It's the only good thing about it is the warranty. And fucking Pittsburgh and Harbor Freight had the fucking same warranty. So does Craftsman. Yeah. You get it for a quarter of the fucking price. I mean, oh, I'll be real. I mean, I like the fact that, like, they have more delicate shit to, like, do, like, more in intricate work with. Like, they have ratchets where, like, on a regular ratchet, you might have, like, fucking, like, 50 clicks on a fucking snap on your yeah, app. Like, 150. Or fucking, yeah. uh, like, 172 fucking quarter inch ratchet. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? I'm not working on the computers here. <laughs> like, I feel where they are. You know what I mean? Like, that helps in those little ass spaces and shit. But. You know, like, I, I'm not going to pay you motherfucking, you know what I mean, $100 for a fucking sock wrench. It's just not happening. Some of them are more for my half-inch breaker bar. And I was like $200. I haven't broken it yet. Because fucking cheaper one I had, it fucking broke. And I tried using it. And then I ended up getting a fucking big billet fucking three-quarter-inch ratchet that we had to use to get my fucking dad's lug nuts loose on his dually. The fucking aluminum wheels, dude. You know how they corrode to the to the steel, and it just yeah. fucking like Loctite. Yeah. Where are you going, retard? Hit him! <laughs> fucking hit him! Oh, like there's nowhere to go down there. <laughs> <laughs> Jockeys have lost their fucking minds. Fuck, they finally closed down. When, when, over the weekend, I was down in Dayton. And they finally closed down the old hardware store where they had sawdust on the floor. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Then they fucking closed it down. For what? Because like, a fucking person died. From what? From, from what? I don't know what he died from. The dude was oh, fucking the 90. Oh, uh, the old guy died, but it's like, like, ah, we're not gonna. Like, yo, see, this is the problem with the kids, man. Send your kids to college, and then they don't want to run the business that the motherfucking that your father built for them. You know what I mean? Those are fucking three generations that fucking place has been open. 
and none of them went to college. That's the problem, right? They send the fucking out. kids to college, and then all of a sudden, they don't want to motherfucking, like, do the shit that their fucking parents did. They all moved out of the fucking little town down there. Yeah. So the guy want nightlife. Whatever. I'm fucking easy. I don't give a fuck. I can live in the city. I can live in the woods. It don't fucking... It don't matter. Nah. I don't want to live in the city no more. I, I want to fucking leave, though. But it does suck. Yeah, I'll fucking you leave. I kind of really can't. Well, you might want to get a real job. You know. Oh, dude. It's fucking like you said. My fucking dad built this fucking... Pl business for well, fucking quote unquote we're in the process of a DBA right now there's some stipulations I don't know what a DBA is doing business as it's fucking legal bullshit I'm saying like legitimately like you know like you're in business with a bunch of cokeheads who are fucking a pain in the dick and oh, like, not it anyway. I wouldn't do it anymore you know what it's, I mean? Yeah, it fucking sucks, but dude, it's family. I feel you, right? But at some point, you gotta be like, well, you ain't got no kids, so like, it's just you, so, I mean, I guess it ain't so bad. Dude, if I had kids, I'd be fucked. If you had kids, you'd leave. I, I would be fucked. I would have no choice. Yeah, because you gotta feed them. Yep. I would have no choice. I'd fucking, I don't know, fucking, who knows? Yeah, you'd have to feed them. You'd have to go get a regular job, you know, like fucking go work on city buses or some shit. Uh, they're hiring, but dude, they're fucking, they're so nasty. One of my friends works at the fucking uh, NFTA here, and they found a fucking dead rat on, on one of the buses that yeah. was just a skeleton. I mean, how the yeah. fuck did no one notice they were smith there was a fucking dead rat there? Because the fucking bus always smells like ass. That's why. It's fucking gross. That won't fucking work on that shit. I fucking, like, if a hoarder car comes in and it's just full of garbage, I'm like, I ain't fucking touching that. I don't give a fuck if it's an expensive job. I'm not getting in that fucking piece of shit. Yo, hazard pay, my friend. Dude, yeah, I got the ZR once and there's cockroaches. I got right out. I'm like, nope, I'm not bringing that home. Fuck that. It ain't worth it. <laughs> There's fucking right. needles and shit. Fucking no. Or like you go work for like a fucking um, like you're up there in Buffalo. They got uh, like a bunch of those grocery warehouses up there and shit. They got a few of them, like, different names up. I've been up there before. Right. But like you just go there and work on their motherfucking trucks. I could do that. Fuck. I've worked on diesels work before. Or you work Something. on their trailers. You know what I mean? Motherfucking go make like fucking thirty five dollars an hour. Go to them all fucking eight hour day and go to fuck home. Yeah, then I can't smoke ten joints a day and fucking go yeah. at my own pace. Yeah, you can't. You know, I mean, you're right about that. Yeah. Like, yo, that's the trade off. You know what yep. I mean? Like, yo, you can you. make a good living. You can make a good living and hang the fuck out and chill and do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? Or you can bust your ass and fucking make money. Or yeah. Like yo, you can stand here and I mean, you can you can sit here and like live the way you want to live and then not make dick, or you know what I mean you can make a bunch of money. You know what I'm saying? And motherfucking hustle your ass off and do what you got to do. That's completely yeah. up to you. Oh, I yeah. choose the second path. You know what I mean? I, I, I like I like to make money. I like making money. You know what I mean? Like I haven't smoked weed in like fucking. 20 years. You know what I mean? I'm trying to ignore this fucking phone call. I had to fucking make this phone call back. It was my dad. Hopefully everything's alright. He's been fucking having heart issues and shit recently. Like you said, though, they fucking, everyone dies, man. My uncle. Fucking. He's fucking dying. I'm like, yo, we're, we're getting to the, well, you are somewhere between, like, the ages of motherfucking, like, 25 and 60, right? But, like, me, you know, I mean, being 38, I realize the fact that, like, I'm at that age in life where life starts taking shit away from you and doesn't give you, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I know what you mean. 
That's uh, kind of that's kind of my mentality. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. A lot more funerals more recently, man. I I'm not even going to them no more. I'm not doing it. I'm tired of it. Like I I just don't go. I'm like yo, fuck. I don't care. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. I totally like, know what, what I'm you gonna mean. Do? What I'm gonna do? Like I'm gonna go to a funeral and like I'm gonna see some motherfuckers who like I'm not gonna see till the next funeral. Like yo, I don't. I don't want to go talk to these people, you know what I mean? Because, like, they don't really care about me. They're going to sit there and pretend that they give a fuck for, you know what I mean? Like, that two hours, we're stuck in the same room together or whatever. And then, you know what I mean? Like, yo, I'm like, yo well, we should hang out. We should chill. I'm like, yeah, man, that sounds good. It's been a long time. You never and then, like, speak to them again. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm cool, bro. Fucking good. You know what I mean? All that shit's for other people. Like, I'm mourn in the loss of my motherfucking family members on my own. I'm cool. Right. Is that shit? There's nothing more aggravating to me. You know what I mean? And having to deal with like just garbage ass motherfucking people who don't give a fuck about you. Oh, we should. Yeah, exactly. You should, we should hang out. Here's my number. Fucking. You didn't give them a call. They don't answer you. Or oh, I'm busy. We'll get together next time. And I'm like, okay, cool. You set up a date, and they never fucking call you. Yeah. Because they're not really interested in motherfuckers hanging out with you. They just wanted to sound good while they were there. You know what I mean? Like it's good. It's like it's like, it's like fucking that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like you ever fuck that bitch? Where like, you know what I mean? When y'all together, it's all types of just gonna I mean, be perfect and amazing and all that nonsense. Then you holler at her and she's like, "Yeah, I'm busy." You know what I mean? Like, oh, I got you. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you were that. My- she's telling with the next dick. Yup. Like, yo, you was smooth with my dick in your throat. You know what I mean? Right. Like, you know, like now, it's, now it's like, yo, fuck me, huh? That's what it is. Like, I got you. You know what that sounds like? That sounds like you're being a complete and utter tosser. Well, maybe I am a tosser. What the fuck's a tosser? Yeah, can we, it's like, pen, you know, can we what? Americanize that one? Yeah. Uh, uh as you know, wanker. Uh, uh keep going. Every- yeah, we don't yeah, have that word either. No, we don't well, speak the Queen's English here. <laughs> oh, well, oh, thanks. Oh, yeah, I heard the Australian accent. But just remember, you were under our flag. Just remember that. Yeah, just yeah. just remember, just remember that, like, yeah, we stopped being under your flag the moment we left your shore. All right. <laughs> oh, it took a little bit longer did. than that, but you're not wrong. No, uh, no, 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 no. I'm a Pennsylvanian. All right. First off, secondly, all right. Secondly, I'm a guinea. All right. So I was never under your fucking flag, ever. That has never happened ever. All right. I was never a British citizen. I was never in a British colony. Oh, I never existed. Be a penoid. I wouldn't save me. You. No one is saving me. I don't need nobody to save me. That's the reason why I'm not an Englishman. All right. You, or you, French. All, 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 all you have to do is bow down to the English and say, yes, you rule the world, and yes, you are the best on the planet. And then I'll be happy. Why would, why would anyone ever say that to an English person? Mm-hmm. Why would anyone say that to a dude the from PA or from... <laughs> like us? Y'all couldn't even figure out dental care, and you've been around. Do <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know what pain? Do you, you know? Do you know what pain? What up? I, I love getting your back up that much. <laughs> Yo, would you please oh. speak English for fuck's sake? <laughs> Jesus, goddamn right. No, 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 no. See, the thing is, you don't speak the Queen's English. No, and we don't. Um, all right. For- and unfortunately, I don't understand you. That's all right. <laughs> You're not supposed to understand me. Yeah, it's none of us understand Pinoid. But yeah. Pinoid, but Pinoid, please do understand <laughs> that I do love you. Trust me. Do you I understand you that you can't in, understand in, that in, he in, does understand that he loves you? Mm-hmm. No, 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 yeah, everybody in, loves in, me in, all the time. time. Right, you know what I mean? So it comes time to donate into the motherfucking Streamlabs and shit, and motherfuckers is like, yo, fuck I'm, you, people. I'm not, I'm not, Dude, I don't do that to anyone. I'm fucking broke. Came in and yelling no, slash free. 41 sessions. <laughs> like Streamlabs.com forward slash Pinoid News. I'm just saying, right? Um, You know. <laughs> it's not even your street, man. 
matter. Yeah, I know. No, it doesn't matter. Like, all together, like, I make as much money as gaming makes in, like, fucking two hours all month on my motherfucking stream. So, mm -hmm. like, it's not even like gaming can be motherfucking mad at me about what I do. Nope. <laughs> you want to hear a fun fact about Pinoid? Mm. So he doesn't mm. speak Americanized or English or anything like that. He speaks Pennsylvanian. There's yes. so many Pennsylvanians that sound like him. Oh my <laughs> god. Dutch. Boomer, I'm eating. I almost threw up. No, <laughs> seriously, it's 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 a pen that is a Pennsylvania Affleck that's on there. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just trying to work out where your accent is from. Is it from out in Mongolia? No, no, I'm actually from PA too, but I've just been everywhere and anywhere. <laughs> Uh, fair enough, fair enough. I talked to people that were in fucking uh, South Carolina, and I'm like, dude, I cannot understand a fucking word you just said. Well, me. South Carolina. I love the redneck well, accent. Carolina? It's probably my favorite. Bro, like in the boonies. Like, like in the cities, oh. they fucking speak English. But it's like, it's like, dude, what? What the fuck <laughs> is a yonder? <laughs> How about oh, you? Oh, nice. Oh, no, uh, or a holler? Me. What the fuck's a holler? You mean over there? <laughs> Yo, legitimately, I, I, yo, I really honestly don't know what a holler is. Like, uh, yo, yeah, yeah, that's the only thing yeah, I know I about that. a holler is like what Ja Rule taught me back in the day. <laughs> English by Ja Rule. <laughs> oh, because that's fucking that, that's awesome. <laughs> right, he's like, holla, holla, tell anybody that's ready to get dollar, dollar. Like, yo, that's about all I know about all fucking today. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know if laugh or cry at the minute. I don't know. It's fucking. Nasty. I understood that. I'm crying too. That was fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. I'm not. I'm laughing, but I don't know if I'm crying at the same time. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's what Just I mean. It's fucking it. hilarious. Oh. Well done, Pinoid. You made us laugh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. All right. It's his job. My job. He's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> what I do. <laughs> anyway, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here to entertain and inform, motherfucker. That that's what I do. No, anyway. Hello, everybody. I'm here again. Yeah, hey, we what's know. Up, tranny. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, you okay. call me. You called him a tranny. What's Jesus that? Christ! It is the last thing that I am. It, it, it's because it's your name, and I don't know who you are. Oh, I'm probably one of the longest-serving husbands, everybody. That's the problem. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's what they call me, Tranny. No, 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 we call you Tranny because you be trying to fuck gaming on a regular basis. Hello. Right? No, you haven't. Back off. No, I haven't. Thank you. No, yeah, last time you were here, it. you were calling them all types of sweethearts and shit and honey and whatnot. I've always, I've always called gaming sweetheart. I've always called him sweetheart. Mm -hmm. I back. find that to be disrespectful. Oh, God, God. Are you assuming? Hey. No, I've yeah. called it. I've called gaming sweetheart since they died. So you, you don't. You, you can't call me that because Peanut gets jealous. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry, gaming. I'm sorry, gaming. I didn't realize that Peanut. Don't apologize to me. I'm not the one who's jealous. Yeah, look, I don't get jealous. All right, I'm weirded out when full grown men call other men sweetheart. All right, it's fucking weird. No, but the thing is, I, 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 always I agree with that. that. I totally agree. That is no, crazy. No, the thing is, I also appreciate. That gaming is gay. Who and... brought that into it? Oh, so you... no, 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 that's why he calls him whoa, sweetheart. Whoa, whoa, that's why whoa. he does it, is because he's gay. <laughs> no, no, it's not even that. It's because. What's with oh. this discrimination bullshit? No, Racist. Yeah, the, the, the problem is. Oh, the is standing up. <laughs> No, the problem is we've all got into this pigeonhole shit where I can't call gaming sweetheart without fucking yeah, yeah. Dude, no yeah, really. yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure that, that that's a hate crime in your country. <laughs> um yeah, I might be arrested very shortly. I'm I mean, waiting for, I'm waiting. I'm actually waiting for the knock on the door for that one. Well, they, they are, are ironically 
unironically, they are looking for somebody who put up a uh, "it's okay to be white" poster in your country. They they called that a hate crime. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. The thing is, that's been going on for the last about eight months. Right, around, Dude, yeah, motherfucker, uh, that, that's been going on in America for years. And the oh, worst yeah. that happens is that, like, people screech about it. Oh, yeah, no, no, oh, no. Now, women, we, women, we, we've got full-on police investigations going on over here about it. And you know what? I'm almost tempted to print them out and go around my local town. And no, 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 no. You, you got to be ahead of the curve and you got to do the next thing that we did because y'all are behind the curve. So you need to start posting signs that say Islam is right about women. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, no, no. We've had, we've had those as well. We've had those as well. Yeah, okay. it, it, except like you've got one quarter of your population that bows to the fucking Kabbalah, so you'd probably get a lot of people fighting for that. You can make one that says it's yeah. not okay to be fucking stupid. But what you have to remember is very secular. Um, it's a, <laughs> it, uh, secular is not the right word. It's very groupular. No, in, no. In, 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 in where you are within the within my country. Yeah, I want to start. I want to start a new meme. I think the new meme should be Joe Biden loves choo choo trains. Did well, like he does comment? like he loves choo choo trains. Oh yeah, no, we'll, we'll all be fucked, man. <laughs> Yo, no, no, did you see that comment? Joe right, Biden, I mean, trains are the way of the future. No, no, no. After the left, no Brandon thing is over. We need to start Joe Biden loves sutures. Right? No, no, no. The new meme, p should what? Joe, Joe Biden likes showers. Oh, well, yeah, because of his fucking daughter's fucking diary they found. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, Wait, what? Yeah, fucking even real freaky shit. Out, even, though what? Been out, even though it's been out a year. Dude, yeah. Pete, did you hear about that, Pinoid? No, I did uh, not hear about this. What's this one? This oh, is new. It, uh, they, rot, they raided Project Veritas because uh, somehow the president's daughter's diary disappeared, and there was notes in there that may or may not have said that she has gotten molested and that he liked taking showers with her. Whoa, 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 you're, you're, you're lacking some context there. Project Veritas di was not the person, like, they, they didn't they got publish rated, it. Though, they're yeah, looking for yeah, one at a time, yeah, people! Yeah. yeah, yeah, but, like, the, the important thing here is that, like, Project Veritas was the people who got raided. Yes, you're not wrong. But the thing is, they didn't publish it because they couldn't verify it with exactly. that, however many sources. They tried giving it back to uh, that bitch's lawyer. They tried giving it to the cops. They tried to give it to whoever could, like, give it back to whoever was yeah. supposed to own it. Because they're like, we, we can't verify this, so we, we're not going to publish it. Well, I'm getting because that probably, that rated because that that gonna yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, whoever just said that and say that is one hundred percent true from what I've heard, and I'm gonna yeah. bow down at your feet for that. Yeah, yeah, and, and like, so the point there is that, like, it's not that Project Veritas got raided for having somebody else's fucking diary. It's that they got raided for trying to return someone else's diary like eight or nine months after it broke on some other fucking website. Oh, uh, yeah, no, no. It, it, it's, the, the diary has been online for over a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The diary's been online for over a year. But if it was fucking bullshit, why would the FBI even put the effort in to fucking raiding them? Be because they want to slap James O'Keefe in the cock. Because James O'Keefe... No, because James O'Keefe, unfortunately, I and they think there's something bigger to come. That's what they're Ooh, worried about. I like that. That's what she said. No, no, uh, uh, I, I'm... I'm 100% convinced that it was just a sack check on him. Oh, okay. Uh, well, okay. That's amazing. That's what you think. 
We'll see what yeah, happens. Yeah, b because, like, what you're saying is that this government somehow figured out that there was a story in process that they wanted to stop instead of just seeing somebody they didn't like and finding an excuse to raid them. I find that latter case much more compelling that like a bunch of ret retarded assholes in the FBI were just like, okay, this is an excuse. We can just go in there and fuck him up. And, you uh, know, if, if we find anything, we find anything. Yeah, they were but, looking for a bigger fish. Wait, wait. No, no, it, it, it seems like it's 100% retrib retribution. Like, understand that if you look at our government institutions and just imagine them as, like, a divorced wife with actual legal power, then you will yeah. understand 100% oh, 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 of what's going on. Yeah, yeah, I'm completely with you. That's a good analogy. That really no, is. No, 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 that's... But on, it, it, it's like a fucking a, 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 a spite-ass fucking ex-wife that's got you know a tongue of fire. You know that's like. Yeah, Am I wrong through. here, Pinoid? Did we lose the trash no state commander? Uh, I think we might have. And I, I'm going to put this out here on blast here. I'm I'm not the one who claimed to be Toya's daddy. She called me daddy. Oh, ow! Oh, has Toya's now got a daddy, has she? Hey, he, you're, you're the one... Oh, oh hello! She, she wants to take it back after she said it, and, you know, oh. it, it, it's, it, it's a little, like, dropping the L-bomb while you're banging out a bitch. Like, that, that's something you can't take back. No, 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 hold on. Toy is not here to defend herself, so you've got to be a bit careful what you say here. Nah, nah, nah. Like, we've been having this back and forth for fucking a day or two now. So, like. No, no, no but no, Toy is not here to defend herself. So. Englishmen do have so so worried. A little bit. I commend you, sir. No. <laughs> I, I may be an asshole, and uh, gaming will back me up on that, that I'm an asshole. Am I uh, By the way, gaming, I figured out how to make a margarita, and now there is no reason for us to have your kind in this country. Oh! Do <laughs> oh, the margarita? Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Literally the only yeah. reason I was tolerating Mexicans. Oh, you not you've not worked out how to make a proper uh, burrito, I don't think yet. Uh, no, I, I already actually figured that out like last week. Oh, okay. So, so a churro? Did you ever have a churro? Churros are good. They're they're kind of uh, uh, overrated. They're better when you fuck when you're drunk. I I I know this. I know this. But they're <laughs> still overrated. And yeah, they are. Everything's overrated. No, no. One thing that is underrated is chimichangas. People don't give respect oh. to a properly made chimichanga. chimichanga. We had this place called Grandma Morris, and after the fucking chef died, you know, fucking, I have never had a good chimichanga. Oh, uh, no. You see, the, the, your, your dessert has been completely overlooked. What's a dessert? Uh, and, uh, you mean an appetizer? I think I, I think the word you're looking for is appetizer. No, I'm yeah, talking about junk food or you fucking food food. I'm yeah, yeah. About, I'm like like about, you eat you you eat sugary things to make yourself hungrier for actual like real food like grease. I eat sugary things to make myself feel better. Aww. Okay, woman. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. Oh, 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 My oh, vagina no. hurts. <laughs> Don't rob it for me. Oh, I'm oh, away. Oh. That's funny. Get out no, the no, clean no, brush. No, I got an eight inch foot. Oh. What was trying to say? Stop lying about the size. It's like a tuna uh, can. Tuna oh, can. Someone let me speak for fuck's sake for two seconds. <laughs> 
No, you're 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 British. We 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 already listen to you too much by, you know, having to turn your language into something actually usable. No, no, because unfortunately, guess what? You talk the Queen's English, you can't. No, we I speak we the land of corn. That's that's how I speak. We we speak American, sir. No, unfortunately, you speak English, and it's called English. And guess where English comes from? Japan. Uh, 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 oh, okay. America. No, 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 Germany. You, you can well, say that, but on. like, then why do you spell Six, color with a U? No, no. Spell combat with a K. No. What do you call aluminium? Aluminum. aluminum. It's fucking aluminum. Yeah, yeah, be, and you because can't, and you can't spell the U out. You can't speak the U. Out. What do you call the hood of a car? What do I call what? The, the front hood of the car. Of car. The front of the car. Oh no, sorry, I couldn't hear that. Oh, God. Are you talking about a bonnet? Like the hood of a car? It's called a no, bonnet, yeah, right? No, 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 it's not. And and y'all call the trunk a boot or something like that? Yeah. Wait, no. did, did an American no, no. invent a car? Yeah, no, we did. And, and the car no, part, no, so no, we get to name no, them. No, it was a French no, who made the first car. No, no, it was a German. It was the Germans who made the first car. Wasn't right. it in the United States, Henry, though? Henry Ford created the first mass-produced car. First right, assembly line. Any, so Henry Ford oh, is the only one that matters. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Benz like, was the one to make the first uh, working car. Yeah, no. yeah. Li like and, and, I don't give a fuck. W when you're talking about the first whatever, what really matters is like the first one that was actually useful that people can use. It like that, most people don't talking. know. Most and people don't know no, the no. first well, Porsche well, I'm, I'm, was electric. I'm, unfortunately, like, you Americans are fucked on everything because we created the first of everything. No, you no, didn't. no, no, no. The, the first useful ones. Well, no, well, what, what are you talking about? The first mass producible things? Or you yeah, yeah. Your... Meaning something that's useful. Like, we no, no, had no, no, Eli no, no, Whitney. No. We had Eli Whitney, bitch. We invented interchangeable. Why does it always come down yeah. that we gotta attack Small Bear for being British? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. every yeah. fucking time. No, 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 no. You guys know, you, like, you know, these little you know, island nations think this is shit. Well, okay. Right? Like, yo, this little garbage-ass island nation off the fucking coast of France, yeah, okay, trying to yeah. pretend it's not European, but oh, right, always oh, tries oh, to stand oh, here and oh, act like that motherfucking they're better than everybody else. They're right. not. Their country's garbage, your people are garbage, you have oh. bad teeth, and all you get is pussy fish. Penoid, guess what? Guess what, what Penoid? What up? You garbage. Maybe, but I'm still better than the British. No, you're not. And too. I, I'm, no, I'm, I gotta well, come okay. down on Pinoid's right. side on his, this, this one because he, right. like, I'm, technically I'm, speaking, he he's not just American. He's American Italian, and that that means that no, like right. y'all ran into swamps to get away from his ancestors. No, no, right. Okay, <laughs> no. Right. Who? Who? Right. Answer me this. Right, okay. If everyone's a historian here, answer me this question. Who invented plumbing? The Romans. The Romans. The Romans. Romans. Uh, Romans. No. Aqueducts. No. And, and Aqueducts. So far. And you're all so far. No. So you are you, small man? Aqueduct. So we don't argue about history and going around in a circular argument no, over and over no, again. No, 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 no. Well, I, I, I should redefine that, actually. Who yeah, that, yeah, uh, be, because, well, like, yeah, if you want to go, go for it. Man, what? you guys put beans on toast, and you get arrested for main tweets. That's okay. I just want, I just want to come in and say hi, and then come into, like, Revolutionary War 2.0, oh, which you guys will lose yeah. again. Shut up. <laughs> who invented who invented the toilet? Who invented the toilet? Who invented the toilet? The butler the sits toilet? on it correctly. Butter sits on the toilet correctly. The ghost told him First. so. Yeah. Butter belongs in the fridge. Everyone will be incorrect on this one. 
Butter belongs in the fridge. First asshole who dug a hole and pissed in it. No. Yeah. No. And you all wrong. Hey, uh, raise your hand if you don't get arrested for mean tweets. Me? Oh, no, my hands no, up. No, my hands no. up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, we get him fucking fucked with mean tweets. Yeah, raise, raise your hand if you wrote that. If you wrote down your Bill of Rights and Constitution. Raise your hand if you're allowed to fire. Fuck you, Ed. You can't do that. You have a corner on which you can actually be quote unquote allowed to speak things called Speaker's Corner, where they still arrest people. No, they don't. They, they 100% At least we arrest don't people on Speaker's Corner. And, it, it, it's a thing. And, and, guess, and guess what? Show me proof, and I will retract my comment. Nigga, I'm drunk. No, I, I couldn't prove no, that the sky no, is no, blue no, right no, now. No, no, guess what? You cannot do that because you cannot be arrested at Speaker's Corner. Tommy Robinson was arrested on Speaker's Corner. No, he yeah. was not arrested at Speaker's Corner. Oh, okay, he was arrested on his way to or from it. Yes, but he was not. Sur he's not arrested at Speaker's Corner. Oh, oh, okay, so no, 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 no. You're, you're going for the technicality here where I no, did not no, have no, sexual not... relations with that woman. No, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about technicalities at all. No, hey, no, raise no, your no. hand like, if you like, don't have you a chance of being thrown acid on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, like it, if you will be arrested on your way to the place that you can speak your mind for speaking your mind at the place where you can supposedly speak your mind, you can't speak your mind at that place. That's like saying, oh yeah, you can you can 100% he was talk whatever you want. It's actually arrested. Oh, for fuck. All we're saying is that we wish your country was, could have the yo, rights that we do. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yo, he, was, yo, he was arrested, he was arrested for his speech on Speaker's Corner. But by the no. way, go, going back to what I wanted to go back to, without I all love you all, but I kind of catch you guys later. It was a pleasure. All right, oh, I'm, I'm I'm about to make a burrito, so I'll talk I to may you. I may or may not be back. I had some seriously hot food earlier, and I got a little rumbly in the tumbler. <laughs> yeah, my. Well, basically, what I was trying to say is the Greeks were the first ones that invented the first flushing toilet and the first system. But no one would let me talk about it. Then so why would you like... say that in defense of the British? <laughs> oh, no, no. Since when, since when did I defend the British on that? Since you walked in? Yeah, no, I didn't. In. I, I, I defended my British heritage as I walked in. And who the fuck is attacking your British her heritage? You do this almost I every am. single time. Shut up, Pinoy. I, am. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wanting to say hi. How are you doing, small man? It's been a uh, while. Yeah, no, I'm all right. No, uh, all, all I will ever say, right, if I come into chat, I'm English, I'm not British. Yeah, exactly. and you're just like about the Irish and the Scots. It's all right. I just wanted to say hi. I just just yeah, wanted no, 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 to no, 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 this no, every time. No, you're cool, man. No, no, man. I, I completely <laughs> egg. I'm just like, no, I'm, I'm so sick of being put in the middle of shit that it's just nothing to do with what I believe in. It's just so fucking. Oh. I'm pretty sure every time you did this uh, argument starts, it's caused by you in the first place. Oh no, yeah, it probably is because I do go in a little bit. Yeah, hard. yeah, but I'm, I'm I'm not saying probably. I'm saying it is. But no, I've but to, no, I've but to, I've got to defend my territory as well, Damien, as well. You, know. you can try, but like we smash you every time you do. Uh, but, but no, but the question, but the question is, Penoid, do I love you? Yes, I still love you. 
Now, look, stop throwing that L name. word around, nigga. You don't even know my real name. All right? But do you still love me, Big Lloyd? No, I don't love you. I, I like you. You're an all right dude. And I know you on the internet, nigga, but I don't love you. Right? I love my kids. I love my girl. I love my motherfucking mom. If I'm a man no. like you. No, no, but you, you, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to prove a point of... That you love everyone? No, oh. no, 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 I get it, I get it. I do love everyone. You got no, that whole Beatles mentality, that. yeah, man. Love everyone, yeah, okay. Everybody loves everybody, man. Yeah, Please. cool, man, no, cool. No, and I do. Dude, I do, man, I like, yo, we should just, like, everyone. not have corporations, man. <laughs> oh, 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 what? Oh, what? Oh, what? In the US for Pfizer? At the moment, yeah, you uh, can, fucking started. You can <laughs> fucking back off on that fucking shit before you even. Man, dude, man, I love everybody, man. Like, yo, we we can't hug our kids with nuclear bombs, man. <laughs> no, no, I, I, no, I, no, I, I, you, you know me. I'm, I, I'm a, I'm a peacemaker. I, I'm not a. I got like a peacemaker too. It's underneath my desk. Yeah, I got a peacemaker too. It's in my closet. <laughs> oh, oh, you know, you know, fucking hell, we're not, according we're, we're, according we're, to the CDC, we're not, we're, not, me. we're not allowed that sort of shit over here. Is that Doku? Yeah, America. It's definitely no, not uh, Doku, but according to the CDC, Pinoy does indeed love me. I have it on good authority. <laughs> Dr. Fauci told me so. Oh, Dr. Fauci told you so. Oh, fuck me. Jesus. It, well, it comes well, from an authoritative source. <laughs> he Fauci gave me a beagle and everything, man. It's definitely legit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. It, well, if, if Dr. Fauci gave you a beagle, just... Run the beagle over. Did it have his vocal cords go intact? <laughs> I mean, he he gave no, me this bag of no, things that look like has. sand. I don't know. They're starting to buzz a little bit. I'm not sure what to do with them. <laughs> no, I, we're we're all laughing at the same thing at the moment. But... Yes, and British people suck. I agree with you. No, we're not actually. <laughs> we're we're actually all laughing together. Fucking hell. And when you when you live in clown world, you only have two options. You can either laugh or bury your head in the sand. God, that was that was not an intentional joke. I realized what I said no, before I said it. Everybody, one moment. Uh, we have a brand new stream lab guy who we need to love, worship, admire, and suck up to. First time ever, Boomer. We only took like a fucking hour. Yeah, no shit. Oh, I, I don't know how. I mean, when I did it, uh, when I donated to someone, it was fucking simple. I don't well, know. You have it now set up where it's required for us to use our accounts. Because before, you know, people would put in like Purple Cowboy or something like that. Well, that's not me. That's fucking uh, Streamlabs. Yeah, Streamlabs started doing that shit. What? It fucking sucks. Now I have to log in with either my Twitch account or my YouTube account. Yo, that's because of what happened with Revenge of the Sis, and I explained this last night. It can't like, be because of one little fucking channel. It's not one little channel. Like, yo, they literally got banned off the stream live because motherfuckers were coming in, like, using names like, I run over retards with my monster truck. Right? Or, I throw... <laughs> or, a monster the truck has a flat, so now I hit them with rocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The cops, I just love the the cops took away my rocks, now I hit them with sticks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That happened for like a good week until they got banned on the street. Wait, so are we talking like sharpened sticks or blunt sticks? Yeah, we don't know, man. Why the fuck you gotta ask questions that make it weird? <laughs> right? <laughs> because I can and I never pass up a good opportunity. Alright, anyway, yeah. I'm gonna go to bed because it's uh, two o'clock in the morning. I'll just have some tea and wake up. Yeah. No, oh no, no, we poured it out for you. It's okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm drinking your Australian beer. I'm not Australian. He's not Aussie. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't say we're fucking Aussie. Oh no, it's Australian. <laughs> oh fuck me. Shit. Sorry. Boober, it's Boober. Just you, you speak for a second. <laughs> like, I don't know no, where no, you no, even no, got no, that no, at. With your, no, with your accent. What accent? Yeah, exactly. That's what it sounds like your standard wet guy around here. Yeah, I'm gonna wait, this dude here next to gaming. 
Hey! Oh, oh, he's fucking white. Hey! <laughs> we've seen okay. those hands. <laughs> yeah, we've all seen those hands. Fuck you! Flash those hands. Flash those hands. Any, anyway. Flash those hands. <laughs> anyway, I don't, I, I don't call schools trouble. But then again, the whitest guy here is obviously Queek Wee. Yeah. Yeah, only on the inside. No, he's probably got, I mean, he's I mean, probably I'm probably done with him. Small man is making an argument, you know what I mean? Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna love you all and leave you all. And Peace, baby. Uh, and, and anyway. it, it's like it's a bad version of Austin Powers. Yeah, Peace, yeah. baby. Yeah, anyway, I, I hope I've entertained you for at least 20 minutes. It's been fun. <laughs> yeah, it was a good one, Smalls. <laughs> anyway, take care, everyone. I haven't meant, meant to upset anyone. No, no. Yeah, no so, one cares. I'm pouring tea down the toilet right now. I'm so pissed <laughs> off at you. Oh, you, you How the fuck would you manage to upset anybody on this stream? How, how can you waste tea by pouring it down the toilet? That's you don't talk to the American sin. Yeah. The greatest <laughs> <sin>, boomer. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. I'm American. Hey, see you later, everyone. Take care. Have a good one, later, dude. Nah, no. Nah. Now I want some goddamn tea. <laughs> Fuck the tea. Sweet Drink tea. a beer like a normal person. Tea bag yeah. I'm at work. Motherfucker. I'm work. I'm gonna give me a Snapple. Keeper. <laughs> oh, that is gay as yeah, man. fuck. Can you just say Bunch Snapple? Hole in the wall. <laughs> My name's not Kyle. <laughs> I mean, but it's pretty faggy. <laughs> oh, let's do well, so. I, 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 I can make it worse. Okay, I got like a pineapple snap snapple. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Sounds like gross. you take more dick than gaming does. <laughs> hey! What? I'm... Oh yeah, I forgot how much dick you take. Mm hmm. Uh, I mean, yeah. Ed would probably be All dead. Right. Sorry, Ed. Ed would be dead, yeah. <laughs> this dead league from the Aetis. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I already said no to two booty calls for tonight. I'm like, ah, I'm tired. I got a headache. And gaming, no, that's not me. Oh, okay. Weird. Where did that cool where did that pull from? I have no idea, but that I would assume that would be you in like the you know one of your many wars you've been at. <laughs> no, where Well you know what? I am thirsty. I'm gonna go get a snapple and pour it out and get something American. God, you you're one. Such a faggot. Burn it down, Ed. <laughs> Burn down the gas station. God damn it! Stop it, Boomer! Oh wait, I can't tell you that you, you're the Streamlab God. I got a lot of worship at my arms. I kept to. Yeah. Oh, hell, Boomer! Listen to me, burn! Oh, I'm a it it does. Does. Burn it all, Ed! Burn it all! Burn this it. is your mother talking. We have a fall asleep in DC one day. So some be Boomer there for a few hours. Burn it down, Ed. <laughs> and you know what, Ed? You still fail me of those hundred dollars that you were supposed to find those two, uh... What was it? Um, two bumps fucking, and I would have got one hundred bucks. God damn it. Two hundred and fifty. Two hundred and fifty it was. God damn it. <clears throat> yeah, that was a missed opportunity, but I'm thirsty. You all have a good one. I'm Later. thirsty too, but I mean, uh, I think we were talking about different thirsts. Oh, yeah. so. Yeah, game. I have no idea who who the fuck that is. <laughs> Seriously, where does that pull from? I don't know. What? Who do you... That is not me. <laughs> what? I don't know. There's the a Streamlabs uh, came up with a uh, you know Boomers the Streamlab got and they put like a like a war vet or something like a picture of somebody in a like in a full camo in the middle of the desert. Yeah, in camo, he's in white board shorts and a fucking black tee. Oh, well, shit, I, mean, I can't see that. It's so far away. I mean, it could be me, but God I don't wear white me. shorts. Never, ever? Well, maybe once, but... And then they took that picture. God damn it, Boomer. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the picture's like, uh, way too small to fucking see what the hell that is. I uh, see. You have a 55 inch TV. <laughs> well, I would have to move my fucking monitor, my thing. <laughs> okay. That's oh, I thought it was somebody in, in camo. No, okay. Who the fuck is that white guy? I don't know. Uh, not, not this guy. Probably Boomer's brother. Oh, 
the got the masturbator back yet? Yeah, yes. apparently. Oh, god damn it! Like, yo, Samaj is busy jerking off to the sound of your voice game. Ew. Hey, man, you're the one that does the ASMR stuff. Since when? Man, listen. Every time you do a stream, it's just ASMR time. What? I mean, as long as you keep showing, you know. What? Every time you chew your food, it just turns so much on even more. Good job, Gimme. Hey. It's your fault. Hope you're happy. What's that noise? Doku's typey, 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 typey. Oh my god. I thought yeah, I, I know, my keyboard's loud. Fucking squirrels in my shit. attic. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I can't do anything. I was gonna about pull this up my freedom and show them the way to fucking Harambe. Mm. <laughs> the squirrels, they're everywhere. Uh, I haven't seen a good Harambe meme in a minute. Maybe we should bring that back. Yeah. Dicks out. I did see a video as it was. Uh, I guess there's a bunch of VR people and they're sitting in a classroom. Of course, they're wearing military outfits, and he, the guy in the front, the teacher, was like. Anyone know who this is? And he's pointing at a picture of Rambe. The guy goes, That Harambe. <laughs> he's like, Yeah, you're right. <laughs> guess you win. He's like, What do I win? A chance to meet the Almighty. Blam! Shoot him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> See, he should have followed up with Wear Dick Out. But that wouldn't. No, no, that doesn't work anymore. Ba oh. ba it doesn't work anymore. Ba you failed us. Yeah, I always do. I'm a failure. What can I say? <sighs> Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm too sober for this shit. What? I'm and... normally drunk on your streams. I'm too fucking sober. I've been Start busy drinking. God damn. Well, fine. And drink faster. God, how am I taking advantage of you? You're not drunk enough. I think I'll pause on the drinking real quick then. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, listen, Doku, where is gaming's fucking cat sport? Uh-huh. What cat? What support? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see how easy he forgot about his son, uh, Doku, Doku Doku Jr.? Hey, Doku. Do, I, do I look like I'm selling $40,000 paintings to you? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, totally. Well, fuck, what am I doing with the rest of my life? I I'm feel, talking to you guys. I, I should be like, painting. I feel like Doku is flush with cash right now. Fucking oil is in, like, well, fucking $90 a barrel. Mm, nah, not as much as you think, dude. Really? You didn't catch this on the wave? I I did, but at the same time, I, I play that on swing trades, and when it starts getting this high and it gets volatile, dude, I check out on those double times leverage ETFs and E-Tracks. Like, that, I got burned twice before. I'm not making that same mistake a third time. I moved back into dividends. I'm waiting on that shit. There, are, there, are, a few, there are a few areas that I'm really bullish on, but right now, oil with the shit going on, like, on the one hand, yeah, I can see why it would be bullish, but on the other hand, I can see how that shit would come crashing the fuck down, and I don't want to be caught holding any bags. I've been through that shit once before, and I am sm I smell some fuckery. I'm not falling for that shit for a third damn time. I'd like I'd like to catch a motherfucking... I'd like to catch it on a downstroke on a short ETF or some shit. <laughs> Stroke. I, I debated, <laughs> but honestly... To be honest, dude, I'm sitting on cash right now because the way I see a lot of a lot of the larger market indicators, I this market makes me very, very cautious. Like, everything looks like it's gonna burn down. Like there's no choice; it has to go down. It, dude, way, that's uh, the reason I'm uh, sitting on cash. By the way, Bo uh, Boomer, you're in charge. I'll be back in a moment. Don't fuck up the channel. Yay! All right, hey Boomer, let's talk. About, Boomer, let's talk about the JQ. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can delegate, right? So, if you know what you're in, you're in charge. Why the fuck? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I feel some sort of kind of way. Until, all right, I'm delegating Doku. You're in charge. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna play round robin with this shit. So, who no, the I, fuck I is Travis the... Scott? <laughs> Travis Scott is a rapper. So what the hell? Ha I keep seeing people talk about Travis Scott. I don't know who the fuck. Travis I don't know. Scott there was is. like eight people who like died at his concert. I don't know why. They got trampled when they rushed the stage. 
Well, that's, uh, that's one of the and they're blaming They're blaming him because, like, people were screaming help, right? Because, like, people are, um, what's it, oh, yeah, retarded, right? And rush the motherfucking stage and shit. Well, it's not like that hasn't said, happened before, stopped. but... Right. It's like, they were saying, like, people were, like, choking and shit, or, like... I don't know, man. I've heard so many different weird things about this. I'm like, so... I don't know what the hell happened. I'm confused. Yeah, I just, I can't care. That's my problem. And I, I don't go to fucking concerts like that anyways. Like, I, so we don't know what, like, actually caused them to rush the stage. Like, first off, that's, that's a dumbass idea. Stupidity caused it. Well, it's, that's really, this is where we're at in life. This is, this is America now. People well, reason, got killed for stupidity. <laughs> well, I think part of the reason why there's all this confusion is because, um, uh, they, they say it was all like the media say that they rushed the stage, but there are people there with like tons of cameras. There's lots of video. People are just falling over, and so it's the the belief is is that the reason why they're falling over is because one of the requirements to get in there is you have to be fully vaccinated. And so they're saying, well, maybe it's the vaccine. Because why are people just collapsing and dying? And a lot of them died of heart attacks. And we're talking young people dying of heart attacks. That's the that's why everyone's all up in arms. Why would they die of heart attacks? Well, partially because the vaccine, because like I said, there, there's a lot of things that we don't know about it. And a lot of people, they, they have been reporting having heart attacks. Like young people and, and all that are having heart attacks after taking the vaccine. Okay. Now, whether or not that's true, I don't know. The media is not reporting on it. We don't know. But th these people who, like I said, there's tons of videos. They're just falling over. They're not being trampled over. They're just collapsing and having heart attacks. Was it, like, really hot there? No. Nope. That was uh, the thing I was going to ask, because the video, or not the video, but the uh, pictures I saw, they had some pretty intense-looking pyrotechnics, so I could see people, like, overheating if you're close to the stage and then falling over. Now, if that was true, I mean, there would have been a lot of people dead at the Rammstein concerts. Have you ever well, seen them? They, they got were, fucking flames, like, going 24 high? hours. Maybe they were high? I don't know. Or maybe there was some bad drugs going on. Don't you dare around. say that, Pinoy. Don't you dare. No, <laughs> not at a rap concert. Actually, that's, that's, a, that's, a good, that's a good question. Like, was there a lot of drug use? Was there a lot of smoke? <gasps> I don't know. It's Doku. Don't no, no, drugs. no, no, no. I mean, like, maybe there was, like, some bad shit going around. Like, some bad or something. No, this is the younger generation. Well, it, it could be. But the I mean, the thing that's making people all upset about this is because the media is saying they're being trampled. But the video evidence shows they're clearly just passing out. So, like, that's the the real concern is why is the media claiming that they're getting trampled when it's um, clear that they're not? Nacho right. said that there are uh, some people saying that some people died. They got injected by someone with some kind of drug. So were they getting, like, a shot but prior to, like, entering the concert just so they could get in? No, there was, there was apparently somebody that was going around. There was a cop that got stabbed with a needle, too. And he had to get uh, Narcan. Uh, that, apparently people had, like, fucking heroin needles or something now that would make more sense maybe there's drugs going around yeah see that's what i'm saying like the only thing that's going to make you fall the fuck out right pass out is like dope or something along these type of lines you know what i mean like yo like because it can't be bad weed like bad weed is i mean like if it's fake weed maybe but like let's keep this a buck like motherfuckers know when there's fake weed here you can smell it like the moment somebody else lights it up it's gonna be like oh that's just terrible you know oh, what yeah, I mean? Like that K2 shit or whatever the fuck that crap was. That motherfucking, you know, they, uh, but people used to call it space. Yeah, no, I've I've known some people who used to smoke that shit. I tried it once myself. That shit'll fuck you up. Like, <laughs> don't touch that shit. Yo, me um, and my pop, yo, me and my pops found that ounce and a half that sit on the floor, right? Fucking at the gas station. I picked it up and it's like, it's, I gave it to him because, like, I don't do drugs. In my face. So, like, even his buddy smoked it. And, like, two of his homies ended up in a no, I had a friend who used to smoke that stuff a lot. He was like, yeah, dude, get you high just like weed. I'm like, dude, that shit smells like bad potpourri. Like, why are you Ugh. smoking that? <laughs> hey, you, yeah, it, Peter was right, though. You could tell, man, that, that shit don't smell right. I mean, it smells like chemicals and flowers. I don't trust it. Yeah, like, you know, I remember back in the day, they used to give us off. We used to have, like, purple haze. And, like, it was never real purple haze. A lot of it was just, like, spagged and it Formula 409. And when you burned it, you could taste the chemicals in it. You know what I mean? Like, ah, 
tasted really fucking disgusting. We just quit smoking it and shit. And I mean, it was a bad effect. Well, and that's the thing. We're not talking about, like, oh, yeah, somebody slapped this in a, uh, in a shipping container with a bunch of, uh, you know, dish detergent or fucking, uh, uh, dryer, dryer lint or shit like that, because, yeah, that stuff does, like, linger in the scent and everything, but it's like, nah, this smells, like, straight up, it was sprayed down with some chemicals that are probably not, probably not, uh, for human and consumption. Yeah. Fucking, like, so, I'm saying, if somebody's going around, like, shooting motherfuckers off this goddamn motherfucking bad dope, that would make perfect sense as to why all those people were just fucking you know I mean, because I'll be real, let me keep this 100 with you. I don't think that vaccines are causing motherfuckers to have heart attacks and stroke out. Like, because, like, we'd have known somebody who heart attacked and stroked out. You know what I mean? If they're, like, these were the side effects of the fucking jab and shit. Well, that's why I was curious about the situation. Like, maybe uh, I'll entertain the idea. I'm not saying I believe this. So, Mama Susan, don't get mad. I'm just toting out a, a theoretical. Maybe if a bunch of people wanted to go to this concert and they weren't vaccinated and they went and got the jab like a week before and it has negative uh, impacts and then you're in a high high energy environment where your heart rate is elevated and you're around a lot of people, the heat is high, like maybe you're at an increased risk for you know, like heat stroke or heart attack or something similar, something related that we're not familiar with. I'm not going to say that's the, that's the possibility. I'm not saying there isn't the possibility that's the case. It sounds to me more the more likely explanation is there's probably some uh, there's probably some funky drugs floating around there and it some some bad. I mean, shit I mean, like I mean, like yo, if you got the jab and you're a dude, right? If these were dudes, all right, and like they all of a sudden just straight started stroking the fuck out or whatever, right? And I mean, like I could I could go, eh, maybe it's myocarditis. You know what I'm saying? So hear me out. Hear me out on this one. I got two theories. Yeah. Either there was a crackhead or a heroin addict, right? Going through the crowd with needles, like two sides, like Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles stabbing people. <laughs> or stay with me on this one. There was a televangelist that showed up and he was going through and hitting people with his his uh his jacket and knocking people over. Or his Bible? Like he was hitting people yeah. in the head with a Bible? <laughs> yeah, he was blessing them. He was just going around going Feel the power of Christ. You were feel, saying, so feel, like, there was feel. an exorcist there that was going on. I feel the devil is over here. Oh. Good Lord. <laughs> That's a bell will be released. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but damn it. <laughs> Why should you not be laughing? It's funny. I know it's funny, but damn. <laughs> Satan, has, oh, oh, Satan has taken over this world here. I gotta save him. Starts fucking you know, just it, beating people with the Bible. <laughs> it would make it would make sense though, like if if there's a lot of people who are doing fucking drugs and shit, and there's just like broken needles and stuff on the floor. Like I don't know what their security is like. Like if this was held in San Francisco, I would I would expect to see something like this. To be perfectly blunt, so maybe maybe there's something like that going on. I mean I don't know. I'm I'm tossing darts. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, not, as a side note, I don't know who did the very uh, somebody that used to come in here all the time. I can't remember their name. Used to do a good televangelist uh, impersonation. If they want to come in here, I want to hear it. <laughs> I, I don't know who it was. It wasn't you know, me. You guys Lord, remember it though? Lord, please, please well, remove. No, they they had like the whole like you could you could hear them sweating on the other side of the the microphone because they were doing it so much. <laughs> You know, and they had the panting and the 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 pausing. They had it all. Oh, please let this child be released from the curse of this devil music and let him go see the light of God and Jesus. Yeah, but you got to sound like you're having a heart attack when you do it, though. I got to find a needle then. <laughs> well, just roll around on the floor at this concert. I heard you get really high. <laughs> Needles for everyone. It's like Oprah. Needle for you. Needle for you. Needle for everyone. And you get a heart attack and you get a stroke and you get a heart attack and you get a stroke. <laughs> oh, so I have Lord. looked through both my profiles on Streamlabs. I have no idea what that photo is. 
Does... So, I'm lost. I... Pinoid, you, you mess with Streamlabs. Is there, like, any type of weird thing that it pulls from your, like, your pulls, YouTube account? It pulls, it pulls from your Google. Well, I, I did both. I, I did Twitch and Google. Well, I'm saying, like, which account were you signed in to Streamlabs? Oh, when Google I did account? that, that when I did that one, that was from uh, YouTube. Yeah, I'm saying that pulls from your fucking, uh, from your fucking Google image. Oh, man, that's not... I'm from my Google Images? Oh, shit. Well, yeah. I'm, glad just, I'm glad I just picked that photo. <laughs> I mean, there's good as some bad ones. Yeah, that was like that fucking bro with the motherfucking, like, the silver vibrator in the vagina and shit. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, back to this concert. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. I haven't been able to really figure out anything about it other than a bunch of people are losing their shit over it. On both sides, like... Oh my god, this, people are freaking out because I guess the evangelical right is now a thing again, and then there's the other side, like... Oh, people are just freaking out because they don't... I, I guess racism or something? I don't fucking know, man. I can't keep up with this shit. How is that racist? People were just dying of heart attacks. Well, I don't there know, were a bunch <laughs> of, uh, There were a bunch of, like, out, what are they, statues or, or displays or something... Of, of giant black people heads with their their mouths open the, and dreadlocks and stuff going around. They okay, say it's it looks <laughs> yeah, it looks kind of weird. But some of the uh, the ev evangelical people are upset because well, one the starch the, the stage looks like an upside down cross, and uh, it's got like these uh, there's like a big giant owl statue, and some were saying that's Moloch from all those uh, like uh, Bohemian Grove. With all the fucking rich, wealthy yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, I'll be real. I'll be real. Rappers, rappers have been using that a lot recently. Like Drake actually came out with a whole album that was like entitled uh, like, or and it has like a motherfucking album of the shit, right? Like yeah. the album has been getting used a lot, and it is like out of Moloch and shit. And mm -hmm. it's it's like it's a tongue in cheek thing, but like it's an art thing. It's it's a weird type of joint. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. let's be honest, the music industry has been doing that type of stuff for a long time because the, whether they believe it or not, I don't read too much into it. I think it's just imagery there for the sake of entertainment because they know it's going to get a rise. Like, it, I don't know if they truly believe like they're actually a satanic cult and all this stuff and they're trying to you know, do whatever. Like they never went to an Ozzy Osbourne concert or like anyone else. <laughs> yeah, like this is nothing new, man. Like, yeah. The music industry has been doing this for a long time. Marilyn Manson, you know, <laughs> Romstein. Yeah. I'm trying to think of some other big offenders here. <laughs> well, I, Ozzy I, ate a bat. What, what, what yeah. crazy motherfucker eats a bat? By the way, he has Parkinson's sister, now. Fucking, like, ACDC's been dressing up like a schoolboy for 40 years. Yeah. And you got Kiss or, oh my God, Gore. Yeah, I don't know, man. I've never been to a concert, right? And I really don't pay a whole lot of attention to music. I mean, like as far as like all that satanic shit's concerned, because I never liked any of it. I never liked. I oh, never sacrificed a goat. Oh, damn! You're missing out. Yeah, it was never, never my mo. You know what I mean? No. Like, I was never my thing. Wait, so you know, it's kind of warm image. at first, but you know. Wait, have you saw that 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 dark imagery at like heavy metal and rock concerts? Not so much in rap. Rap is all about that. Um, no, like, no, no, no. There's you know, the new rap. The new rap is like. They've, all right, so they moved away from, like, the gangster rap 10 years ago, probably 12 years ago. And they've moved now towards more, like, theme type of shit and art and, like, university type of rap type of shit. Like, it's not like it used to be at all. Mm. I mean, yeah, shit, like, just uh, look at uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony and 3-6 Mafia and some of the shit they rap about. Okay, yeah, 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 all right. So they now have clones of the motherfucking Bone Touch and Harmony and shit. Right? But they're like, it's like, it's all, like, all their videos are like space age, while fucking, like, bitches walking around with giant butts and shit. And then, like, fucking, like, it's like, it's in a space <laughs> station where, like, they're overlooking the universe and, like, boring with the ideology of, like, being a god and all this shit. Like, mm. yeah. Like the new the new rap is not like what the old rap was at all. It's not like fucking you know what I mean chicken finger chicken wings and motherfucking watermelon and shit. It's not that anymore 
at all. <laughs> There's no more like smoking weed and drinking blunts. It's getting on lean, doing lean things of the same. It's heavy drugs now. You know, I mean, they're like they're like talking about suicide on a regular basis and shit. I'm gonna kill myself, yo. That's I, the new generation, bro. That's the new generation. I, I remember emo, back, like, Bone Thugs. Emo. Bone Thugs used to be, like, one of the few where it was, like, literal demonic rap. Or, like, that was, like, their whole shtick. I, I used to they, love Bone Thugs and Harmony. I loved the Bone Thugs and Harmony. They were one of my favorite fucking groups ever. Right? Oh, dude, same here. I used to listen to them all the time. But it was, like, that was their thing. It wasn't mainstream. Like, and it, it upset a lot of people, too, including people within, like, the rap industry. We're like, yo, that's a little too dark even for us. It's like... They're not well, rapping about you know being on being on the streets and shit. It's like nah, they're well, no, they like, were they were. There was a lot of that rap being on the street shit. Remember the first of the month and all fucking crossroads and that. Yeah, but I'm saying like their their thing was 70. like it was like horror and like you know and you know like acknowledging the darkness of humanity and then putting it into a context in the form of like music and shit. Like that shit was dark. Yeah, they were, yeah and, and they were much more melodic, right? And that's what I'm saying about these new rappers. Like yo, these new rappers can't rap, right? They're melody motherfuckers. They're making music now. And you have to remember that there's been an explosion in white bitches having all fucking half black babies. And that's who all these kids are. They were all raised in the suburbs by their white women. And they're trying to like become black and shit. But they're all like all the white problems of like doing heroin and you know what I mean, Molly and drugs and shit. You know, that's the, you know what I mean? So it's a whole different animal. I don't know, man. I haven't really kept up with the rap scene in quite some time because I, I don't focus on it that much. Like, I still keep up with industrials, some fucking electro and techno stuff, and then some, yeah, I still keep up with metal, but like, I fell off gay? rap. And, <laughs> <laughs> damn it, gaming. But no, I fell off with rap just because, like, I don't know. It didn't, I, I just didn't, it didn't seem like there was that much passion there. It all well, felt all like right. real cookie okay. cutter and shit to me. And and uh, then when it wasn't these, that, it was all people talking about their fucking wet ass pussy and shit. All, all these dudes are literally like, they're not the children of Tupac. They're not like, you know what I'm saying, like the, the descendants of Pac and Pig and Cox. These are all the descendants of Little Wayne. I think mm. that's how I'm going to explain it. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are not like, motherfucking, like, the guy, they don't respect, you know what I mean, Rock him and Hawk and motherfucking, like, Nas and Jadakiss and DMX. They don't like any of that shit. They're like, yo, they're like, when you ask them who their favorite rapper is, it's Lil Wayne. I mean, I don't mind Wayne, but it's not necessarily because I like his music. I just like the fact that he tells off the media and tells them to go pound sand. Like, but I mean, he has a few songs that are alright, but I don't, he's not, he's not I don't like, I don't hot. like I don't like Lil Wayne at all. Like I fucking hate Lil Wayne. Uh, here's my my take on Lil Wayne. I can't even look at pictures of of him because it makes me want to gag. Yeah, I don't like Lil Wayne at all because like I don't like the mentality of like because his whole stick is you know what I mean, all fucking drinking lean and you know what I mean, getting high and doing coke and shit. Well, that's why I, that's why I don't like his music. The fact, the only thing I like about Lil Wayne is when he's gone to a few interviews and he's like, "Yeah, look, I got kids to take care of and shit. Like, I don't care about your politics. Like, you can either ask me about my music or you can go fuck yourself. And if they don't, then he basically walks off the fucking stage or walks off the uh, interview set. Like, I can respect that, but I, I don't necessarily like his music. Yeah, Lil Wayne's Lil Wayne was probably the first like rap guy who like literally. You had to put him as an artist instead of putting him as a rapper, right? Because, like, he didn't make, you don't have bars. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't stand here and, like, name me a little Wayne bar that's epic. Like, I can give you a million, like, Pac <clears throat> and Made a Kiss and Big and not as far as we just go. No, that verse was ridiculous. Little Wayne doesn't Sounds have any of that shit. It's all just, like, singing. You know what I mean? And, like, melodies and beats and, like, playing with ideologies and shit. He's literally an artist. That's what all these kids are. They're, all right, that's fair enough. Artistic and shit. No, I get what you're saying. No, so I, I, I get, I get where you're coming from. Now I understand better. Yeah, that's where we are. Like you understand, like everybody's like, oh, rap, oh, fucking black music. And shit. Shut up. And I'm saying, like, there's a lot of like fucking really good fucking shit. Like real shit. They was talking like, yo, I was listening to a two fox on ninety five yesterday, right? Motherfucker from an All Eyes on Me album where he's talking about a uh, motherfucking like slapping the shit out of Sims. And I was just like, yo, from 95! 95! They was motherfucking like, yo, they was motherfucking backing down Sims and shit. 
What yo? Why yo? And almost every Pac song is M O B money over bitches, motherfuckers. Like legit. <laughs> People don't understand that shit. Oh, that's a rap you see as it was real like misogynistic and shit. It was never any of that worshiping of bitches. And that's what these new dudes are doing. Right? It's all about like bitches and sex appeal and nonsense. You know what I mean? Just you know, fucking giant like when Tupac did a concert, it was a stage. It might have had like, you know what I mean, like a cross in the back or some shit, like maybe some like a graveyard scene or some shit. But then like There'd be 40 niggas on the stage. Every one of them would have a mic. And it would sound like shit. And then Pac would just be bouncing back and forth with his shirt off. And the bandana on his head. That was a whole two Pac. Since, since you bring that up, is I just have a question. Since I don't pay attention to rap that much. And I haven't for quite some time. At least over a decade. But right. I see I see clips. and I see clips about like rap songs. And people talking about rap. Shit like that. And I look at some of these artists where people are like, oh, yeah, look, this guy's like this. They, like, they fucking worship on him. I'm sitting there and I'm wondering to myself, has this motherfucker ever even held a gun before in his life? Because, yo, they're not, this... they're not gang. I told you they're not gangsters anymore. It's not even the fact that whether they're gangster or not. It's like, I'm pretty sure if this person heard a fucking nine millimeter go off two, you know, two feet next to them, they'd probably yeah, well, shit themselves. None of <laughs> none of these guys are from New York. They're not from the hood. They're from the suburbs. And I believe it. It's just one of those things where, like, Pino, you probably would realize this. If I hear a gun go off, it's like, oh, well, somebody's Whatever. somebody's either somebody there, somebody's either fucking around, fucking up some cans, or somebody's having a really bad day, or somebody's being a being a fucking idiot. But like, I see these people, and I'm like, dude. You probably look at a fucking twenty two and you know your hands start to shake a little bit. Like, can I touch it? Yo, again, like... again, yo, look, these are black these are light skinned black guys from the suburbs who were raised by white moms. All right. Drake is one of the mo- is is one of the most popular rappers in the world right now, right? And has been. And legitimately, he was a child star in a fucking wheelchair on Nickelodeon. I feel like I should know from, the name Drake. From Canada, right? Drake, Drake, he was on, um, God damn it, I don't even remember the iCarly. Oh, oh, wait, shit. Uh, damn it, I know the fucking show you're talking about. Um, fuck. Uh, Gosh, hold up. Drake? Give me a second. Uh, it was like that show where they're in like a, uh, like a, a specialty school or some shit, right? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Degrassi, <laughs> that's what the <laughs> fuck that shit was. Degrassi. Okay, yeah, he was a kid in a wheelchair on Nickelodeon at like eight, nine years old, and he became a world famous rapper, right? Like, yo, fucking, and he's not even American. He's from like Vancouver or some shit. Wasn't that shit on like Disney or some crap? Like, yeah, yeah, Disney or Nickelodeon, I don't know, whatever, right? But like, legitimately, this dude, you know what I'm saying, is one of the most popular rappers in the world. White skinned, raised by a white mom in Canada. Yeah, I, there's some, there's a lot of jokes to be made there. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Like, yo, when you think of rap, like, yo, there is no more of this, like, gun toting gangster bullshit. Like, it's just not there. They're not those dudes. I mean, there's like Takashi 6ix9ine, but like, yo, let's, let's keep this a buck here. Like, Takashi 6ix9ine became a gangster after he started rapping. Right, like before that, he was a he was a baby face, like light skinned Spanish kid, right? And he named himself with a motherfucking with a, a Japanese name and shit, right? Like, oh, these are I don't not. I who the gang- fuck that is. There, he's like a guy with a bunch of face tattoos and it's like rainbow colored motherfucking like dreadlocks and shit. I don't six know. Six nine. Takashi six nine. Right. Aiming such a message. Like, yo, I'm sorry. <laughs> yo. Legitimately, right? Like, yo, like the fucking rappers are not like gangsters anymore, right? They're not like they're like none of these dudes are like gutter. Like, you have to remember, like they're all like skinny jean wearing fucking bitches. All of them. That's they're the fashion like they're like they're literally um they're Instagram models at this point. Oh God, it's... that's what rappers are now. They're Instagram models. 
They're more worried about their following on social media than they are about like their reputation in the streets. Like there's there's no more of this like going out with a gun on you type of stuff. You know what I mean? Like when's the last time you heard about a rapper getting in like a gunfight somewhere? You know, it's I haven't even years. thought about that, but that's fucking really good point. <laughs> it's that's a damn years. good point. Right? Because, like, the rappers aren't gangsters anymore. They're not. This this old idea you have in your head, like Ice Cube and N.W.A., knock it out. Because, like, it just doesn't exist. I mean, everyone, I, I didn't know anybody that, like, ever made it big and was, like, you know, big name, you know, got a big label and fucking got rich off of shit. But, like, they'd still manage, you know, like, make make some money however they chose to do it i'm not gonna say how or for what purpose or what reason but yeah they'd buy a cheap ass fucking laptop maybe a mixer if they're really fucking lucky and sit there with a freaking microphone back when that shit was still expensive and yeah maybe they'd sell some cds on the street and it got popular and then you know hey they have a little bit of money where they don't have to you know do some nefarious shit and you know that was considered making it big Yo, look, I mean, like, here's, like, so, you have guys like, uh, like, Tyler the Creator, right? Who's literally, what the fuck is that? Like, um, like, uh, he's Will Smith's son boyfriend. But I'm, I'm not even gonna ask questions anymore. <laughs> and, right. and, on, and on top of that, he's a Christian rapper, and Kanye West is now a Christian rapper, too. Uh, uh, all right, um, just take it for what it is. And I, I don't know who either of them are. I haven't listened to their music. I don't know what they're about, so I'm not going to judge. But, okay. Like, Jim, like, this, is, this is what it is now. Hey, gaming. Yeah. Can I rename the stream? Uh-huh. Really? Of course. Thank you. All right. The purple cowboy conspiracy. Is it really draped <laughs> underneath the hat? You know, type it out loud, and then I post it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, there's literally, there's literally rappers now that are like just openly, blatantly, motherfucking pansexual. Uh, what? Oh, I have. Hold on, let me. Let me collect my thoughts real quick. Used to shoot people for that. <laughs> did did I hear did I hear you correctly? Just openly pan pansexual rappers? Yes. They're attracted to pans. They really yeah, like pans. I'm I'm pretty sure that uh that that shit would have gotten <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, the, well, the culture has changed apparently. <laughs> Cause, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm telling you, it went Hollywood. It sounds like it, cause that that shit wouldn't have that shit was not gonna fly. The whole I'm 10, telling, 15 your years whole ago, idea, your whole idea of like what you think a rapper is is not it's just not that anymore. And just when you brought up the idea of like rappers wearing skinny jeans on stage, like. Bro, that you would have been the laughing stock of the entire fucking uh, that that particular segment of the music industry would have roasted you worse than any freaking Netflix walkout could ever hope to achieve. Well, just like, for the about, simple about fact of wearing skinny jeans. Like, how, about, how about this? One? How about this one here? It is openly normal now to have a ghostwriter write most of your bars. Oh, oh, oh! Wow, it's that bad, huh? Literally, like, they're creating rappers, right? Yeah, you know, I mean, they get a guy, you know what I'm saying, who looks good and can, like, spit bars but has none of his own, right? And then they just fucking, like, you know, they give him bars to spit and make the fucking music for him. And then he goes out on Instagram and fucking <clears throat> Twitter and whatever. And, you know what I mean, spreads his message. And then he goes on tour and makes a bunch of money on concerts and shit and, like, fucking tries to sell things on Apple iTunes. Oh wow, the rap industry went full fucking Jonas Brothers. Uh -huh. That, yeah, that's well. I guess this was what happened when uh, culture goes Disney. 
Like, literally, like, yo, fucking, like, again, and none of these rappers are from New York anymore. They're not from Brooklyn or Bed-Stuy or, you know, I mean, fucking Harlem. Like, no, there's no more of that. Like, that doesn't exist anymore. It's all guys from, like, you know what I'm saying, L.A., fucking Chicago, um, fucking North Carolina, right? Some suburb in fucking Canada, right? Yeah. Do you remember? You remember when like people would get fucking mocked just for wearing freaking belt chains because they were rappers, but they were also metalheads at the same time, and that that was considered being you know uh, word that I'm not later, allowed guys. to see on YouTube. Wait, I'm sorry. What yeah. happened? I said I'll be back. I'm going to keep the stream on in the background, but I'll be back. Okay. All right. Yeah, but you know, remember? Yeah, remember you were considered to be a little fucking bitch just for wearing a uh, a wallet chain just because you happen to be. Yeah, you might be into rap or something, but you're also into metal, so you'd have the wallet chain and shit, and everyone's like, oh, oh yeah, you look like a so fucking like bitch. Every, like, every one of these rappers at some point now either wears fanny packs or wait, hold on, hold on, you cut out. What would you say? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. All of these rappers either wear fanny packs or pushes. Looking for anything in particular. God, I don't, even, I don't even know what to say to that. Like, again, this, this, the whole industry has changed. I, I'm actually... I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Like, wow. Um, okay. Yeah. I, I guess we're... Can we even call it rap anymore? At that, like, I don't, I don't even think it's the same fucking culture. This is again, this is Disney bullshit. Yeah, no, no, yo, the streets aren't there anymore. Right? There's no more street shit at all. Well, at least I know I'm not missing out on anything. You're not. I mean, like, it's just music now. Like, literally, like most of the rap that you hear, like. I mean, like, you'll hear, like, everything that these guys make is on, is on like, the radio. Yeah, uh, well, that's, that's fucking boring. On, like, pop station shit. Well, let's like, be honest, you, we all knew it was going to move in that direction anyways, because... Like, could you, could you imagine DMX doing a charity event, you know what I'm saying, like, transgender rights? <laughs> No, no. <laughs> like, just... no, that's what that's what these dudes that's what these dudes do. Uh, I I need a fucking smoke just to even try to fucking comprehend this shit. Because <laughs> I know I've I haven't paid attention to this for a while. I've been busy doing shit that's far more important. But holy fuck, dude! Like, I know really? rumors fucking pretty. Right. <laughs> You're. <laughs> You're rapping for tr not nah, the, the, oh my goodness! All right, I, I'm gonna go have a fucking smoke real quick. It, try not to melt my fucking brain any further. Good job, Pino. <laughs> you ruin another life. It's what I do. He's about to do the opposite. No. Like yo, I'm supposed to tell the truth. That's only my job. That's my only job. Tell the truth. You're always claiming that you're like, oh, I'm the best at bringing people uh, the, to their best, blah, blah, blah. And now you're telling me this. I'm like, how. I tell the truth. How bitch made could you possibly. Like, I'm going to rap hard and this and that. And then, like, yeah, no we're going to support, hard like. Rappers. But don't you understand? Gangster rap doesn't exist anymore. So it's just bitch bullshit. Mm -hmm. Dad. Yo, look. Well, that's look, 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 fucking look, look, disappointing. Look. I've, been, I've explained this. I've explained this a thousand. I've explained it to you. All right. The rap game got ruined the moment Apple the Apple iTunes came off fucking thing. Right. Because ninety percent of all purchases on Apple iTunes are made by females. Not by men. 
So now they have literally fucking, like, changed the entire rap game to suit the taste of yeah. fucking women in the ages of 14 and 24. I mean, I already knew it was starting to look a little bit effeminate, but I didn't realize it was that bad. It's, I mean, you've seen little Wayne drink like a fucking fruitcake all, all, all the fucking time. Yeah. People like yeah. him and fucking normalize being a fucking freak when you're supposed to... I haven't been paying attention to it much. Which is ostracize why I'm sort of the like, fucking the people fuck? who do weird shit. That's the problem with the fucking world. They let the freaks out and said it was okay. That's yeah, the fucking problem I, with this goddamn world. Like, it used to be like, remember, like, it used to be like, you're in a tattoo, and you were like, hard and big. These dudes, it's like, their faces are covered in tattoos. Necks covered in tattoos. Right? And they're in a hard phone in their body. I know them motherfuckers is made of opium. But they all disappeared the weapon. Are you sure those tats aren't just frickin', you know, like, paste-ons or whatever the fuck those things they are? They could be, oh, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 they're real tattoos. That's a fish. God. Yeah. No, I feel like we're coming full fucking circle. We're at the point in time where it's like, you know what, I don't have like, any fucking fat fucking tattoos. I just have a bunch of fucking scars. Oh, if the scars get popular, then of course they're gonna be self-scarring uh, themselves too. I yeah. mean, there was a little fat about a fucking idiot who would burn their, um, burn themselves and weird. So that, uh, what do you call that? Um, branding. Thank branding. you. Yeah, branding. Oh, uh, well, like, they can go fuck themselves. Go get in a fucking knife fight. Otherwise, don't even fucking bother. Well, that used to be really popular in Germany. Yeah, I remember right. I met a, a, a really hot black guy who, um, he was hot as fuck, but his arms were brand, and I'm like, wow, that looks really gross. Why would you, why would you do that as, like, a fucking, when it starts becoming uh, a fashion statement, you know it's fucking done. Like. Yo, welcome, welcome to 2021, son. No, this was, like, fucking 10 years ago. <laughs> Oh, oh no yeah. longer. I mean, Brandy, Brandy's a popular person. Mm. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. Maybe we do need a fucking reset, considering the fucking direction we're going in. And, um, just keep telling everybody we need World War Three. We need to send yeah. a bunch of fucking idiots back into war so they can get their their wax. Uh, Peppered and fixed, and then they can come back home all fucked up and start the next generation with fucked up, beat up kids. Like every World War. I already paid my fucking dues. I'm not going to war to save a country that's fucking being run by a bunch of fucking soy boy fucking bullshit idiots who think there's fucking 57 genders and I have to fucking give them respect because they demand it. They can go kiss my fucking ass. I don't respect no one unless it's fucking given. I mean, earn. Dude, I'm right there with you. Like, it's like that one fucking video floating around on... I don't remember, like... I know a couple of YouTubers talked about it. It's that fucking one... Uh, I'm not even gonna call them trans, because I feel like that's insulting the trans community. Like, you're going to respect us. <laughs> Make me, bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make me fucking respect you. I would love to see you try. Because you sitting there fucking screaming at a fucking uh, phone while you're doing a fucking TikTok video saying, you're going to respect me whether you like it or not. No, I'm not. Mm -mm. And you're not going to make me. And I would love to see you fucking try to make me because the next thing you're going to do is you're going to be doing the same fucking shit all you other pussy ass little fucking cunts do. Going, eh, stop, stop, stop touching me. Eh, don't touch me. And you're going to fucking be flailing <laughs> your fucking arms around trying to slap me in the face. And I'm going to stand there. I'm going to let you do it about five or six times before I knock your ass out and fucking, you know, call an ambulance and be like, yeah. No coup. Uh, someone no, no someone coup. get this fucking lump piece of meat off the fucking ground. Goku, I tagged you in a random chat for a picture of random stuff. Crap stuff. What, uh, what, where, where'd you tag me? 
random chat. Gotcha. Um, where? Hold on, give me a moment. Probably right up above the game. Oh, is who the fuck is this? That's that's the dude who motherfucking like everybody's bitching about his contract and shit. This fucking coach. Oh the. F oh, uh, Trav Travis Scott. That's that's who. Yeah. Hmm. Yo, so, Travis Scott aside, <laughs> what the two fucking, look at the two fucking LAS looking fucking white boys on his left and his right, like, get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> good, good board. The problem, Yo, boyfriends. This is a bad game today, man. Oh, dude, you can even see it, like, the one dude just... I'm just here to carry the bags, and the other guy's like, I'm the I one like that's big. Yeah, I like yak melt in my glattes. It's like, bro, get the fuck out of here. Good God. <laughs> yep, that's some fake as fuck looking shit. I don't even know what to say about this shit anymore, dude. They. Don't yeah, here, 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 check, check out, check out this dude. This is Tyler the Creator. Who the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Yo, how much? <laughs> what is up with that stare? <laughs> Jesus. Yo. How much fucking blow did you do, man? Good God! Like, yo, these are the new rappers that are out. Uh, you look like one of those weird ass Gucci models they were trouting out, fucking, <laughs> or trotting out like fucking four or five years ago. Like, what the fuck is going on here, bro? Yeah, they, he was one of them. Wait, are you serious? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't even know that. So. Okay, I, 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 I guess it makes sense. Oh no! I was trying to say that. Yeah, I was trying to say that to like make a joke and be hyperbolic, but fuck. And then it slapped you in the face. They all, they all have like, um, like contracts, shit, with all uh, fucking cheap shit. Not even like have like their own thing Dude, I I say this jokingly most of the time, but I'm it's not becoming a joke anymore. Stop stop the fucking carousel. I want off. I want a fucking refund. This planet is going to shit and I want off before it completely fucking immolates and I die in a fucking blaze. They just Elon Musk, here's my life saving. Slap me on the next fucking ship to Mars. It'll be better than this crap. Good lord. Yeah, like there's. I mean, like it's just. It's just not me. It's just not. Yeah, I am. Yeah, the only thing I can do is fucking drink and wait for our inevitable demise as a society. That's all. That's the only thing I can do. I could try to, you know, maybe, you know, hold the line and be a crusader and try to wake up everybody to the absolute nonsense that's going on and how literally every fucking potential aspect of society is being destroyed and perverted. And no, it's not a dig against people's uh, orientations or their ethnicity or skin color or religion. Nah, there, it's there, nothing, there, there, it's no, nothing there, to do with that. <laughs> This is this is Takashi six times. Oh, he's so goddamn ugly.
What the? What the balls did you do? Oh, and you should have seen what he did to go to jail. <laughs> I. Jesus. Don't know. Oh, he's this. a snitch. He's a fucking full fledged, full fledged snitch, and nobody did yeah. nothing to him. Full yeah. fledged rat fucking snitch. You think uh, gangsters from back in the day would have let this little fucking snitch pass? Hmm. He's a fucking snitch. And and nothing happened. Yeah, I have bro. so <laughs> many questions. Yo, yeah, this is here. There goes there goes Sam. And Adam saying bye. I think I just want to Ow. Oh. Oh, good god. I am... I am not going to go on a rant. I'm going to take a sip of my beer, but holy... Oh, we like when you rant. That's when I jerk off better. I have... Taste the rainbow. I want to taste his rainbow. Mmm, oh. <laughs> Doku. So yummy. Yeah, tell, tell me why why did this motherfucker look like Ronald McDonald just got a job writing for fucking Vice? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> you don't even have a proper grill, dude. You have a fucking your teeth look like you taste the rainbow a little too much. Like you look like fucking Skittles. Hey, he, that ain't Takashi Six Nine. That's fucking Skittles, spelled with a fucking Z. Get the fuck out. An X and a Z. Wait, hey, this is this is what someone who has a fucking AOL fucking AIM screen name grows up to look like. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You're the living embodiment of an AIM screen name. Fuck off of here. Fucking XX Six Nine XX Rainbow XX Six Nine XX. Fuck <laughs> off, man. Some fucking good god, clown as fuck. Hold him. He thought it wasn't bad. It was some million times worse. Yeah, it was. It's worse than I expected. Like. At this rate in time, no wonder the fucking circus is going out of business. It's becoming a fucking lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, like, it's legit. Like, the whole rap game is fucking garbage. I... It might not, it might not be the best idea in the world to tattoo fucking 6 9 on your forehead and then across your fucking fingers, like... If you do ever end up in a, a legitimate prison, mm, that that look ain't gonna get you very far, buddy. <laughs> Let's just say that much. Here, this is uh, this is chance. Here's no chance. Oh, that guy. Why? His name Chance the rapper. Why does he look terrified? Uh, he's only like three, three foot four. I think. No, it's not that. It's I don't care about his height or his build. It's the the look no, in his scared, face. He's scared of the yeah. He's scared of the whole world. It's like yeah. He like no. He legitimately looks scared. Like what are you scared of, bro? The Flash? Like are you a deer or something? Are you a doe? Are you Bambi? Uh, you ain't Chance that, the Rapper. That's, You're that's fucking just, Bambi. That's just, that's just his natural look. That's just how he. Yes, I'm fucking curious. Is that? Yeah, that's his natural. I'm gonna. Whoops. I'm gonna look this dude up because I need to see is like if that's his natural, if that's his like his resting Bambi face.
No, see, there's a, c- there's a couple of images him, uh, images of him where he looks a little more like, yeah, well, kind of confident, like, or at least he looks like he's having fun. That picture, he looks like, uh, even there, at least it looks like he has like a little more confidence. The first one he posted, the dude just looks flat out fucking scared. Like, at least there, he looks like, I don't know, is. It looks like he's suffering from Joe Biden syndrome. Like, is this what I'm supposed to do with my face? Like, at, at, that one, he looks more of like, I don't know what to do, so I'm just gonna stare blankly at the camera. The other one, he looks like legitimately scared. Here, I mean, that is his natural face. Here, look, look, there's another one. Look. No, there he's still. That, see, he looks normal in that he looks, one. He looks like he's fucking terrified. That picture, too. I mean, but it's still, it's normal compared to the first one he posted. The first one, he looks like he's legitimately like a deer Amazing. staring at a freaking car coming at him at 60 miles an hour. Yeah, look, he looks, he always looks like he's lost. Like he's kind of just crossing the shit. It was kind of like, he looks really like on the outside of his head. He's like, you know what I mean? He's typical, like, he looks like shit. looks like he's well, no, like, the first one, he looks scared. The second one, he looks, like, confused and angry, but he's not sure what he's supposed to be. The last one, he just looks straight-up confused. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's his natural look. His natural look is just he's a weirdo. These are the rappers today, right? All right, bro, let's be honest. And this is this is someone who watches fucking anime and shit. I used to watch Dragon Ball Z when I was a kid. I guarantee you this motherfucker used to watch Dragon Ball Z all the fucking time. He's probably got Goku statues and shit in his fucking, his fucking yep. studio. Yeah. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, man. You do you. But, like, bro, that, that's not... Like, I'm a nerd. That's fine. Like, I get it. Like... I've got fucking Deadpool and Red Hulk and fucking Psylocke and Harley Quinn statues. That's fine. I'm a fucking nerd, but like, I'm not pretending to be a rap writer. Hey, goddamn it, Doku. (laughs) I'm a fucking nerd. I'm never gonna pretend not to be. But this dude, like, I don't know. I'm not pretending to be a rapper at the same time. Like, this dude looks like a straight up nerd. Thing. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but like, bro, (laughs) like anybody, anybody who knows could tell. It's like. Homie, you're that kid who was sitting there playing fucking Soul Calibur for like eight hours a day. Hey, like, we, we could we could tell. We know who you are. At least he doesn't have the fucking face tats to try to pretend that he's fucking harder because it chance. All right, dude, you're just a fucking nerd. But like the six nine dude, I still can't get over that fucking rainbow hair fucking bullshit. Whatever the fuck is going on there. And yeah, again, yeah. he's a fucking snitch, and nobody did nothing. Yo, this here, this here is what's known as Egos. All right, it's short for Amigos, apparently. Right, but like they are the most popular rap right now. I mean, they're better than whatever that six nine dude was. But that's what? not a hard, that's not a high bar for jumping over. Yeah, no, it isn't. But I mean, like, what are... Man, that shit looks really fucking forced. What the fuck does that dude have around his fucking wrist? Did you break your wrist, homie? Maybe, hey. on, no. maybe on his boyfriend. But yeah, that's, um... Alright, uh, I... I'd... It's not the worst thing I've seen yet, but... Bro, Ed Hardy went out of style, like, fucking, like, 20 years ago. What are you doing here? Hey, are you going to fight a UFC match? Hey, what is up with this overly flam... Hey, I won't even say that, because that's that's rude to the, the flashy UFC people. Like, this is just... Bro, I don't... It's it's fucking it's flashy bullshit for the sake of being flashy bullshit. Yeah, we're we're hot shit. Look at me. Let me point at my teeth with my fucking pinky finger. Hey. Man, I don't even know. I don't I don't know what to say about this shit. Hey. Like, there, there, look. Here goes here goes Pico's out shopping. 
Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Bro, that... That's not a briefcase, that's a fucking purse. It's a purse that's trying to pretend it's a fucking briefcase, and you're wearing it like it's a fucking purse. Like... Oh wait, no, that that is a straight up fucking purse. Yeah. Yep. It's not even a brief That's a fucking purse. Yeah, both. I have a fucking briefcase because I have to carry one for work. That's a fucking purse. Wow. Can you at least, can yes. at least go buy a yeah. fucking backpack? Thank you. What's going on? Well, so what are we watching tonight? Uh, the final two episodes of um, Golden Boy, Golden Boy. Oh. and not sure. Not sure. Oh, we need a movie suggestion, then, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm. I guess we don't have to do Halloween themed anymore, so that's good. Mm. Now there goes there goes Drake with a fanny pack. But. Oh, is this motherfucker wearing a Chanel fanny pack around his fucking upper shoulder to his, underneath his arm, yep. across his chest? Yep. I'm telling yeah. you, some of these modern day rappers have been castrated. Yo. It... <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to tell Goku about the new modern What? <laughs> Bro, you're... You slung a fucking Chanel fanny pack across your chest. Like, like bro, <laughs> that ain't a bullet belt, homie. <laughs> oh, I think he's trying to laugh, but I think he's crying at the same time. No, it's, it's just so damn funny because it has the fucking Chanel logo on it. It's like, yo, what? Is it, a, is it attached to his shirt? Might be. I feel like the belt is actually going underneath the shirt. Are you are you trying to go for that Call of Duty look, dude? Because it really looks like it looks like you grew up playing way too much Call of Duty. Holy now, fuck! That, that's Drake, the most popular rapper. That's that that that's something. Uh I don't know what to say about that, but that's something. Yeah, it, like it, Drake, Drake got into a rap beef with a dude, and literally, like they used like he was going to like big parts against him. You know, honestly, it wouldn't it wouldn't be as bad if it weren't for the fucking Chanel logo just slapped right in front and center. Oh, I'm honey, like, they were product, new, okay? The new, yeah, the new rap game, bro, that's just it goes a whole bunch of bitches. I, again, it's... I know back in the day, you're supposed to, like, wear the Gucci glasses and, you know, have all your ring and bling on and everything just to show that you got a bunch of money and shit. And to, yeah, that was your proverbial flex. But, bro, with this shit, it's like, nah, dude, you... You you look like such a faggy runway model that it would make fags fucking get offended. Like y'all look bad. Like y'all look Y'all would make women feel bad. Like, that's I just made the most bomb ass omelet. Hmm. We're over here talking about terrible rappers today. 
Oh, oh, okay, yeah, the go modern, ahead. The modern changing generation. Right. Because like, it seemed like a good subject, you know what I mean? Like, that's so sticky. He loses respect for Pinoid, I'm not gonna lie. That picture you sent a Drake, I can smell the fucking perfume department from Nordstrom's on Fifth Avenue through my fucking computer screen. Yeah, no shit. Good God. I've never been in the Nordstrom's. I've actually been delivered to them. I've never been in one of their stores. Never even seen one of their stores. You know, I've I've been drugged into them on a few on a few occasions. Bag. I knew you were gay. Just time. come out, Doku. Jesus Christ. Not that hard. Yeah, I didn't say I wanted to. If I'm mm. going into any fucking store, I'm going into two. It's either fucking, uh, it's either Hugo Boss or Men's Warehouse. Cause oh, I don't Men's care Warehouse who the fuck you are. You don't tell me where to go, when to go. Walmart. I've been, I've been to Men's Warehouse before. Yeah, so have Men's I. Warehouse, Men's Warehouse ain't bad. Yeah, it felt weird being in there, I'll be honest with you. Hey, dude, you gotta buy suits, you gotta buy a fucking suit, but I'm guarantee you I ain't paying fucking $2,000 for a fucking suit. Benoid, I understand where you feel. Because when you fucking walk into a place like that, you're like, dude, I do not belong in here. Yeah. My problem with going into one of those, like, like expensive clothing stores, I look at the price tag and I'm offended. It just, like, I, 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 don't know why, I don't know why it offends me. I just see that and I'm like, no. 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 Yeah, like, we, like, they put a Macy's attached to, like, the hood mall where I live. Right? It's weird, because, like, the mall's a strange place. It's anchored on one side by past two shop, and on the other side by Macy's. Right? And then in the middle, you got, like, baby sneakers and uh, Chinese food. Right? It's a weird mix. Legit. Like, and I've been in the Macy's before in that bitch. Like, fucking, just because, like, I parked on the front side. And... and and I'll be honest, I mean, that's uh, been a place for me, 100%. Shit, I don't even know if our mall is still open. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been to one. I know, no, nah, it's still open, you know what I mean? Fucking, because Bass Pro Shop's there. <laughs> but yo, Bass Pro Shop does business. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, I, as long as there's a Cabela's and a Duluth trading around, I'm fine. I've not, no, we don't have a Duluth trade. And Dude, Cabela's, Duluth makes some good shit. Yeah, Cabela's is a long way out. Like, if you want to go to Cabela's, you have to drive, like, an hour away from here. Away from you want to talk about a place that don't <sighs> make good shit no more? Red Wing. Red Wing boots went fucking downhill big time. Yeah, I, oh, used, to get, I, I used to get, like, four pairs a year. They're drunk now. Yeah. You burn them out. But I'll be real, like, you want to buy something decent, buy Timberland. Timberland always makes the best boots. I know it's some good shit, but, like, if they make amazing boots, they hold up. And oh, that's the thing. Yeah, Craftsman and, yeah, Craftsman and Timberland, like, you can buy those things. You'll have those fucking boots for 10 years if you're fucking, you take care of them, right? Wow. Dude, I'm a mechanic. I burned At through least. a pair of boots in, like, six months. Yeah. Uh, see, I only had to use mine for, uh, like, yard work and farm work and shit. Dude, I haven't had a pair of fucking sneakers in, like, ten years. Oh, uh, no. I haven't had a pair of sneakers. What? I, so, it's not really R2-D2 fucking a light socket there for a minute. What was that, Pinoid? Oh, shit. I said, I, I, rock, I, I rock me a pair of sneakers. I like to sleep. They're salty, but I just fucking don't need... I don't go out no more. Fucking work. Well, I gotta, like... I gotta be able to, like, go to the park and run and take walks and do that type of shit. I need sneakers. And driving in boots fucking sucks. Yeah, your ankles get used to it. Yeah, look. When you spend, like, 11 hours a day behind the wheel of it, like, you'll find out that you want to Flats, t shirt, motherfucking pair of loose socks and some fucking sneakers and shit. I'm enjoying the fuck out of this deer meat omelet. Fuck yeah. Deer, deer meat, ooh. 
Yeah, Jeremy eat omelet. I was fucking hungry after I took a shit. I was like, I'm gonna make myself a Jeremy eat omelet. That is that is the most manly omelet ever. Right? That actually sounds really good. I didn't put any garlic in it. I should have put garlic in it with some onions. That would be fucking good. I just finished now. Whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna make some steak. I'm thinking about making some steak for Zoli. Not me this week. How do you like your steak? If you fucking say well done, I swear to God, man. Oh, medium rare, but like this is a different thing. It's an Italian. Like you take steak, cut it up real thin, and then you fucking pound it out, and then you tie it up, and you put it in garlic and onions. And I mean, let that shit all fucking like slow cook yeah, for like four hours, right? And, and then and I put it over top. You want to know who has some fucking bomb ass food? The Ukrainians. They got some good fucking food, man. Well, Polish Wait. people got good food, too. The only hey, thing on the planet without good food is the British. They're all right. I, so their, their dried fish is pretty good. You can go almost anywhere. Every country has good food. But, like, I the heard that, British yeah. have no good food at all. I, I've heard, like, the worst worst type of food in cooking with, with was the Scots. And that's because they boil everything. Dude. Yeah. Well, a lot, of invented, uh, a lot of people invented deep frying. Thank you, Scott. <clears throat> What's going on? That shit. Breaker, breaker, one, two, one, two. Can I get a radio check over? Mighty Park! Rubber ducky, yeah. That's like you, Mickey, standing behind someone with a fucking like bowler hat and a strap on. It's like I don't want to look over. <laughs> Just breathe and hold your breath. Just think happy thoughts. That's fucked up. That's fucked up gaming, but I like it. That's fucked up. <laughs> you make me smile. <laughs> That's why I get paid the big bucks. At least he's useful for something. Mm. Fuck though. The Irish make some pretty good fucking food. You want to know how to cook your potato? Ask an old Irish dude. Go cook a potato. Yeah, look, look. Yo, look, cook look. it into Again. vodka. <laughs> Yo, everybody, everybody makes potatoes. Right? There isn't a goddamn fucking people potato. in the entire fucking piece of Europe. Other than... Like, which Britain, the only thing they have is fish and chips, and really that fish and chips. What are the fuckers? And the, uh, really what are the fuckers that are called that they can't eat fucking starch? It's a dietary thing. Yeah, yeah it's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I'll eat some potatoes. I'm looking at my covers. I'm staring at some potatoes, fuckers. Looking for anything in particular, Guardian? That was good. I made a fucking deer omelet. I'm not gonna fucking. Oh, yeah. fucking I'm not gonna go fucking bananas and start boiling the potatoes, getting fucking walking into the store, get some cheese, maybe stuff some peppers with some fucking ground meat. Fuck. I might do that. Watch out, Tom. My inner fat ass is coming out. <laughs> oh, hello, Toya.
Oh yeah. What? Hi. Hi, gaming. Anything you want? Where did everybody go? I don't know. They 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 heard vagina and they all got quiet. Basically, everyone's afraid of Toya. I heard that what? And, and I was like, I'm gonna back off a little bit. I don't know. I hear the what, and it's like, oh yes. I'm not me. I'm not nice. Get it right. Shit. Yeah, there's a day. <laughs> the way you said what reminded me of my fucking mom, like right before I got fucking hit with like an extension cord or something. I'm like, oh fuck. God damn, you're giving people flashbacks, Toya? What the fuck? That's what I'm here for. Mm. See, childhood trauma leads to a fetish. You just have to embrace it. I guess. Oh, dear God. No wonder. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Not unless you wear a wig, though. Hmm. Not uh, you, hey, Toya, can I borrow one of yours? Hi, Taurus. Wait, Gammy, didn't you, you say you had long hair? Yeah. I bet your fucking hair is nicer than mine. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I bet a dollar. I'm Yay. still picking rust out of my hair from today. See, hey, mine doesn't have any rust. <laughs> Dude, the rust makes it kinky. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's got other things in it. Uh, I'm curious, Toyo, you care to elaborate? <sighs> it's a beret. Yeah. It's a beret. Oh, look, she has 9mm rounds tied up in there. Oh, wait, this isn't... Damage it! Monkey! Nope, oh, and he's gone. Who? Oh. Bye, Boomer. <laughs> Speak to me, not I missed him already. Indeed. So what movie should we watch tonight, guys? Troll 2. No. A Toxic <laughs> Avenger 3. Maybe the first Toxic Avenger. That is a good one. I have not seen that Toxic in Toxic Avenger so long. 3 is funny. I don't remember not nothing out of that movie. The first one. I say Evil Dead. Which one? 2. Yeah, it's not bad. Dude well, 1984. Ooh, well, uh, is that like three hours? Doom it, with it is, the rock. Uh, the, the only good part about that movie is when they finally pulled out the BFG. Right, and they fucking punched a hole through that thing. That was hilarious. <laughs> That's the only. It was like, I don't know. You go there for the fucking beginning, dumb shits. <laughs> All right, I take I take it back. It's fun to watch if you're really drunk or really high. But other than that, it's I am both. Movie. Oh well, it's in that case, drunk. Doom works. I drank four shots today after I got home. I smoked a fuck ton of weed, but yeah, I'm not even drunk. I'm just fucking really stoned. That's why I'm the hunger. Yay. Oh, you know, speaking of movies, I, I've i watched the uh, new Dune twice. Ew. What? I had a... I actually got an early screening for it the first time. It, and unfortunately, because it's a stream, kit, you watch it on a laptop with headphones. It doesn't have nearly the same effect as if you get to watch it in IMAX. Mm. In, in IMAX, it's actually a lot better because, you know, the sound actually does add a lot to that movie. The same way that uh, Blade Runner 2049, it really is heavily dependent upon the sound and the image. Mm. But, I don't know, I didn't like it as much the first time around as I did the second time around. Second time around, I picked up on some subtleties that were, if you're a fan of the books, mm -hmm. y you'll notice. But if you're not, it's basically just it, a better than average Hollywood movie, but it's a Hollywood movie nonetheless. I thought it was amazing. The only thing, the only thing I complained about, about the movie was that I want more. That I wanted so much more. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. the fact that they ended as a part one, it's kind of like, well, fuck you, I have to wait a year for part two. I got, I still got blue balls. Well, you may still have blue balls, because they haven't really made the announcement yet that it's coming out with the sequel, so. I mean, no, I, they did. I, 
They did. Oh, did actually, they? Some, did yeah. They? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's coming out, uh, if I remember correctly, they said it's October 22nd of next year. Hmm. <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty fast. Okay. So, we'll get it. Now, what I want to know, so, okay, you guys are doing the first Dune novel. Are you going to do Dune Messiah and Children of Dune? Because like, if they try to do that as a screen adaptation, oh boy, I would love to see how they pull that shit off, because fuck. That'll... Is that That'll movie going to have the same killer soundtrack as the original Doom? I don't know. The soundtrack for Dune wasn't too bad. Dune? In my opinion. Or Doom? Did no, you say Dune? Dune. Dune. The fuck D -U is Dune. Oh my Dune? Wow. Frank Herbert? What the fuck? Dune? Yeah, what is Doom? Get out, Toya. Well, you're black, dude. <laughs> you're okay. What the, what the, what the, I thought you were talking about Doom. Doom was fucking awesome. No, Dune, wasn't. I don't know what fucking no, Dune, House Arconan, House Atreides, Planet Arrakis, Sandworms. Never heard of it. Frank Herbert's Dune? Oh. Nope. Nothing. Not right. even a little pinch. There's another fucking movie in the 80s, it. I think it was in the 80s. It, there was a, an adaptation of the first book in 84. It. The 80s? What's the 80s? That's time when you come in. Never mind, you, baby. Oh, clearly nice. I'm gonna be night. Good night, Quee Quee. Good night, Quee Quee. Better Quee. Hey, Quee, don't forget to. F I was gonna tell him, fucking flip your pillow over and sideways so gaming don't get you in the night. But he left already. Like, he prepares himself for me. What the hell are you talking about? Right? Get ready to the cross pattern on the pillow, bite it. <laughs> Pretty much. Obviously. <laughs> like the fatality. Dude, you haven't showed them in a minute. Those were hilarious. <laughs> Fucking Quee Quee's was great. He was like, dun 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 dick monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it might be my favorite one for now. Oh, uh, that was good. Well, it's almost 10.30. Um, I'll give it a few more minutes before we end the stream. Uh, we I don't know if I want to watch the Toxic Crusader tonight. I, I want I want to watch something really, really good, though. Something watch really the first good. Die Hard. Not into shooting. Not into like Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Well, we could, that's a Christmas movie. We can save that for December. Fair God, enough. I hate December. I hate Christmas more. Which is why I you should watch Die Hard. Anyone has a reason to hate it, it's me. Oh, hey, how about Shrek? I mean, I, I do like Shrek. Shrek. Yeah, the first one. I mean, yeah, okay. my erection, I mean, attention. <laughs> my gay is showing, Shrek. but I love the musical. Let's watch Shrek. Okay, uh, Shrek gaming, it is. You don't, you don't like horror, do you, gaming? I'm not a huge fan, but I've watched a lot of it, though. I was going to say, uh, the thing. The mirror. I'm like, we already had a full month of fucking Halloween yeah, style. Uh-huh. That was the name of that Working. shitty fucking movie where the dudes had the gills. That was an 80s movie. Waterworld. Dude, you're about to yeah. get waterboarded as soon. Waterworld oh, was at least better than uh, Battlefield Earth. That was shitty. <laughs> Does it get much worse than that movie? No, dude, you fucking hit that nail on the head with a fucking sledgehammer. <laughs> I still love that movie. I don't know why. It's so terrible. Oh my god. Because it screams Scientology. <laughs> okay. It's fucking dude. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, I can hear him. Like, oh my god. God, you both. Oh. oh my god. It's almost brilliant how bad it is. Yeah, when was the last time you guys watched Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Ugh, not a fan. Ugh, oh really? Did you mm -hmm. ever see, uh, what was it, the Corsican Brothers? No. Actually, Robert did you ever Lincoln watch, uh, Pike? did you ever watch Ford vs. Ferrari? That was gay. <laughs> I thought that was actually a pretty good movie. Dude, I'm a motorhead. And I just thought it was fucking a lot of talkity bullshit. Less, less talky, more racy. 
Oh, fair enough. I'll give I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Dude, they were fucking talking. I'm like, shut the fuck up, show race cars. Shut the fuck up, show race cars. And it was like, ugh. Actually, I don't know if you guys will be able to find it. Oh, fuck, what the hell? Did you see the new What's Mortal Kombat movie? movie yet, gaming? Since it came out, it was fucking shit. It could have been better. It wasn't as bad as Annihilation. That one sucked. I can say it's definitely better than Annihilation. I mean, a, a turd in the floor is better than Annihilation. Annihilation was funny. That's the first funny. movie I watched with gaming. Uh, mm -hmm. Really? Mortal yeah. Kombat? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Fuck. <laughs> My character's Scorpion. Get over here! Mine's Melina. Of course, from the first the original one was... First Scorpion, then the Reptile. Reptile was fun. Then it went to Melina. Well, Kitana, then Melina. Oh, then Jade. Now back to Melina. Yeah, Jade with the staff. Yeah, mm. I remember Jade. That was in Mortal Kombat 2 or 3. I think 3. three. Yeah, I fucking then love Jade. Then they went to the Trilogies, which had all of them in there. Uh huh. Fucking smoke was fun. Yep. And new. And what fucking game was it that had them both in there? And um, the one you just said. Trilogies, Trilogy. yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was fun. So Mikey says that there probably because the... he loves blue. We used to play with my older my older brother who was a heroin addict on fucking PlayStation One on fucking Mortal Kombat trilogies. He used to fall asleep all the time. I'd kick his ass. All right. Do you guys do you guys like war movies? Mm. More specifically, modern day, like one that would be set in Afghanistan. Probably not. This the one about Cornwall Valley. No, uh, no. It's it premiered on Netflix. It was supposed to go to theaters, but it went to Netflix instead. It's called The Outpost. Hmm. It's about Cornwall. The Outpost on Cornwall. Okay, yeah, that that's a good movie. In Shrek. Yeah, Shrek, I agree. Yep. Fucking if I fucking make some extra money this month, I'm gonna try and send fucking some money for vodka. Delicious vodka. Yeah, vodka more. It's gluten free vodka. <laughs> Oh, he said vodka. I said vodka. I'm like, what's vodka? Dude, I haven't fucking done a Viking in in years. What the fuck what? did that come from? Jesus. Vodka plus Vicodin. The cocktail of heroes. Or <laughs> arrest records. <laughs> You're like, oh fuck. Well, he's getting arrested. <laughs> But I haven't fucking seen him fight it in a while. Uh, anyways, I gotta go to bed. I gotta fucking work tomorrow. So, y'all have fun. Yeah, good night, good night, Deku. It's always a pleasure. Have terrible nightmares. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Bye, Later, <Deku>. everybody. <laughs> okay. How long do we got? What time is it? Uh, a few more minutes. Okay. And plus, well, I'm, I'm looking for the movie as we speak already. Oh, okay. Hopefully not the new Shrek, because the the newer Shrek, I stopped like after like the first twenty minutes, because I got like kind of sick to the stomach. Yeah, I was, really I was watching one of the older Shreks and or newer Shreks, and I was like, "What the fuck? It's stupid." I was getting ready to chuck a vodka bottle through the TV, and I was saying to myself, "This is my TV." This is fucking ten dollar empty bottle of vodka. I can't chuck it through a TV. I'm becoming an adult. Yeah, the Shrek movies—they definitely made a lot of money for the studio, and then when they stop stop doing that, they just like DreamWorks. They they've just plummeted in popularity. They're losing money like crazy. So the the rumor I've heard is that they're trying to reboot Shrek. There's four Shreks, okay, so I guess the one 
Maybe the, the third might have been the one that I was like, uh, this is like, I didn't like it that much. And then I think it was, uh, maybe it was Shrek Forever, the one that I was watching. And I'm like, I stopped and I was like, eh, this is boring. And stopped the watching. last one I seen was it Shrek 3. Shrek yeah, 3 was Shrek 3. Shrek 3 was fucking stupid. The, the best one is number one. I agree. Mm -hmm. I think okay. Shrek 3... Shrek, Shrek 3 was the one where he was like uh, trying to run away because it turns out Fiona's pregnant and, and uh, uh, Shrek apparently was supposed to be the new king and he didn't want want that. So mm -hmm. there was like a descendant or whatever. This yeah, kid. Little, this I'll go to my swamp. Well, he, he went to go, left. Yeah, he went to go find like uh, uh, some kid who, who was like a descendant or something. And so... Like, like that just... one with Justin Timberlake supposed to be the kid or something. Yep. Yep, that that one was terrible. Just terrible. I didn't mind the fourth one, but that was a time travel shenanigan nonsense. Mm. Like it's okay, but I don't love it. And so yeah, then after that, just a lot of the other DreamWorks movies just didn't do well, or they did okay, like like the the Madagascar movies. They're okay. Oh, they were so fucking they're, annoying. They're doing better than fucking uh, Fast and the Furious. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Dude, that shit's sucking Pino, dick right now. Pino like told me the abomination of the ninth one, and I was like, wow. Wow. I watched it. I just watched it with my uncle. Wow. Are you, are you suicidal? Or what? Dude, it was bad. I was drunk. I made sure to get a fucking wicked buzz going before fucking that movie started. Hmm. And I'm sure that only made your night worse. <laughs> well, actually, like, right now, I just had my fish shot. Having a pretty good day. I'm fucking not in the mood to get hammered. Oh, that's some of the devil. Woo, Satanism. Yay. I think, what was their, their other movie? It was like, before they did like, computer animated movies, they had another one, uh, a series of hand-drawn ones. One of them was The Road to El Dorado. I really liked that one. Yeah, that's an amazing movie. That, we, that we, gotta, we, we gotta watch that soon, The too. White Horse. The fucking blonde dude and the fucking dude that actually looks Spanish. Yeah, yeah, that that's one. They go to that. Wait, that, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Which one looks Spanish? They do with a like fucking uh fucking soul patch with the fucking brown hair. You do know They're Spanish people hair. are white, right? Not the fucking not the fucking Aryan looking dude with blonde hair, blue eyes. Well, that's span. That's how real Spanish people look like. They're European. Aryan. They're white. Yeah, but like, this the one dude looked like straight up fucking like Aryan, like he was getting ready to march fucking screaming Rammstein. Well, they're still white. Yeah, they're Spaniard. white. Okay. Yeah, but what are they saying? Your point. <laughs> <laughs> I, I missed something. Well, I, I forgot where I was getting at. Yay! That's me derailing okay, the conversation. Coming, guys. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Love you. Have a good time. <laughs> Got two more okay. minutes. Okay. Well, what do you guys think about the Kung Fu Panda movies? Uh... <laughs> Dude, I love the one where he punched a hole through the fucking uh, dude's chest you know like holy shit how does that even happen oh, no, that's not me. kung fu pan panda you dipshit oh you know another one we need to watch is that kung pao enter the fist that's that that's the movie that's kung pao yeah I yeah that's the movie watched that about. not too long ago oh if you did right, I punches it. the hole through the yeah that's funny i mean yeah. how did he do that i mean there's cartilage and bone <laughs> You I do mean, a good crap. voice for that. I mean, crap, man. How is that even possible? <laughs> <laughs> I may have to sit down and watch that on my own because I I, I really enjoyed that movie when uh, I was younger. Dude, you'd be rolling on the floor. Last time I seen that, it was a few months ago, and I about pissed myself. Yeah, I was I... fucking rolling on the floor, <laughs> fucking gagging. Yeah, I just watched it recently. But anyways, we're done. Everybody, we'll oh. see you again tomorrow at... You know the time, whenever the fuck I feel like it. We'll see you then. Everybody say goodnight. Take care, rabble, 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 rabble.